What's going on, guys? Today is March 13th, 2014, episode 13, titled The 13th Floor and the Sacred Stones. Beca just because. And this is the pregame for his play. And uh, we're going to try to keep it going here. Say random stuff so it's not completely quiet like last time. And we're testing out some new tech, so uh, yeah. Don't blame Please me. Please forgive us if we mess up. <laughs> yeah, don't blame me if it goes wrong. It's not my fault, I swear. Yes, we are blaming Yogi. That is the person that we are blaming. Just making sure that they understand that. You tell them no, I gotta tell them yes. <laughs> is that Sorry, like, Yogi. Is that like good guy, bad cop? I mean, good guy, yeah, good it cop, is. Good cop, bad yeah, cop. It is. I'll be the bad guy, you know, so I'm like, yeah, get him. Uh, but yeah, you're, you're definitely the good guy. <laughs> There's nowhere near I'm, uh, I'm, I, that I'm a good guy. They're, yeah, not gonna happen. <laughs> oh, man. So we got a few voicemails to play, so that's cool. Yeah, uh, I know. I uh, I actually called one in. You guys are gonna hear that in the in the in the in the future. Here it was. Um, let's just say I uh, I, I I don't even know. <laughs> Cause uh, yeah. Let's see, does that work? No, it doesn't work. That's fine. We'll do it that way. Yeah, and uh, along with the obligatory news, we have to do the obligatory uh, Titanfall mention because that's what everybody's talking about now. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. Um, but, uh, so, I mean, I know we're going to talk about this here in a second when we actually go live, but uh, what have you been doing this week, man? Just kind of yeah. just chilling this week? Really busy this week? What's been going on? The, the getting the getting us finally up on iTunes due to the popular I know. demand and uh, got us up even on the BlackBerry podcast directory. Oh hell yeah! You know, and I feel kind of this kinda, is what happens. What's that? Go ahead. No, I was to say I just feel kind of sad because I might be leaving the BlackBerry fold for good. Oh no. I'm People one of the BlackBerry are gonna be like, "No, Yogi, don't leave us." Yeah, I I love BlackBerry, I really do. But uh, I I say I just I don't know. I we'll see. I'm getting some lag. Me too. Why am I lagging? All right, everything is up. Intro screen. I was really tempted to get the BlackBerry uh, Z10, but I ended up going with an Android phone. Well, I actually got the, um, I've got the Evo. We'll talk about this a little bit more, but I got the Evo, and um, I love it, man. I'm gonna keep with it. I'm gonna stay with the Evo until the day I die. Yeah, this my black. What oh, is my phone right now? I've had a good run with it. Four years. Most of these phones don't last a year. I'm starting. All right. All right. Can't let me know no, when we're. No. Keep talking. We're... Free game show. Free game. I know, but I don't want to talk through the music. Oh no, I'm not starting it yet. I'll let you know. Doom doom. Why am I lagging? I don't know. It's all good. We're here to just talk about geeky shit and have fun. And all the people that come in with us, right? Because that's what we love to see. Word. Psh, word to your mama. All right, I think I know. I, I think I'm good now. All right. I'm ready to go. <laughs> oh, man. All right, stopping the stream now. <laughs> uh, no, something in my. Uh, we'll get to it right in a second, guys. I know uh, this is not a very. I mean, I hope you can edit some of this. <laughs> uh, things. I thought I had it all set up and it was supposed to be. Saying that my. Mm-hmm. 
I'm plugging us on uh, all games chat right now. They asked, someone asked for the link to, to pimp us. It says audio codec must be set to MP3 or ACC. Oh, okay. That doesn't make any sense, but I already said it. But anyway. Oh, the Twitch stream quality thing. All right, I'm tweeting out. Yeah, but where's it at though? Hmm. Oh, you know what? You, are you gonna go on on, uh, on the horseplay? Uh, I forgot about that. Log on to the horseplay Skype. Well, we can't do it now. So I guess we won't have any call-ins. <laughs> There's AAC right there. What was that? What? Was what? Sound like somebody farted. I probably just heard <laughs> my wife being loud. Oh, it's her fault too? Man. All both of these. <laughs> All right, we're going to try this again. Let's turn it up. No. Mm -hmm. I think we are live now. Finally. Wow, it finally works. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Zilla, we're going to start some music up here. Alright, let me know when you start the music. Now. I'm tweeting out. Sub Junior. Mm. All right, all right. <laughs> You've waited all week for this, and we are back by popular demand. Horseplay is back online. Welcome back to Horseplay. Hey, guys, what's going on right here? Obi-Wan X2, right. Let me get make sure my pointers is that way. Bam, that way. Yogi Zilla right here in the house. Welcome back this week, episode 13, the 13th floor and sacred stones. I was saying that a couple times, and Yogi's like, uh, yeah, you just, I said it scared stones for real, like the first time I did it. I almost went with that name as a play on words, but I didn't want to mess you up. By the way, that's a very good uh, Michael Bay <laughs> epic opening. Or JJ Abrams. I really appreciate that, man. I was thinking of something new, and I got some rock in the background kind of going and everything. Everybody's been waiting for us all week long. There's people that is just they just stopped functioning because they're waiting for us. They're like, exactly. where's horseplay? Come on. Exactly. Exactly. That's how we do it. You know, we want, you know, everybody, everybody loves us. I love us, too. I love me. All the time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just <laughs> it was it was just like last week when you were you know out your your cigarette for the house. Welcome geeks gamers to horse play. <laughs> Today is March 13th, 2014. This is episode 13 again titled The 13th Floor and The Sacred Stones. In this show we'll be we'll be dabbling kind of freemason here. Uh, we're going to talk about some of the conspiracy theories and the supernatural things and the magic number of course being 13 uh, as everybody says uh, we'll also be uh, interacting more with our listeners um i kind of messed it up because i actually called him on the wrong skype um but we're we want to re we're going to be reacting with uh the the whole chat i gotta turn the music off now it's been going for a long time uh but the whole chat and we're actually going to be getting into just you know what you guys want to talk about make sure that we can actually you know get with you guys and just you know, hey, what do you guys think about it? 
Um, in the future, next week, I promise I will not screw this up. We will get on there so you guys can actually call in right here on the show um, so that you guys can talk with us. I mean, we just because you're not you know, in the picture, we guys still want you guys in the show. Um, and a couple of new things has happened this week. And before we do anything, I got to get it out there. Yogi, I know I'm skipping all around, but I can't, I don't, I can't even find where you wrote it, but I got to get it out there. Everybody's been asking us for the last couple of weeks. Hey, uh, we really want you guys on iTunes. Well, we really want you guys on iTunes. We want you guys on iTunes. Well, what you guys don't realize is we've been trying to get on iTunes for since we started Horseplay, really. And it was funny because there was a couple of new friends that we met over at uh, the allgames.com. And they said, uh, we really want you guys on Horseplay. And then all of a sudden, like the next day, literally, Yogi gets a text and says, uh, hey, dude, we're on Horseplay. We're on, uh, we're on iTunes now. I thought we couldn't even get a hold of them. So, yes, guys, we are on iTunes. You can download our shows so that you guys can have them all the time. Maybe we'll download them and make, make, a, make a pack, you know, like the season packs that they have of, of, uh, of uh, TV <laughs> shows and stuff. It'll be, it'll be the spring season of Horseplay with Obi-Wan X2 and Yogi Zilla. Yeah, or Yogi Zilla and Obi-Wan X2. I'm not opposed to that either. But as you guys can see, though, we are, we are loving it. Over on the top right-hand corner of the – or excuse me, top left-hand corner – Way up there above Yogi's head, we have our network. This is our baby. Actually, it's actually Yogi's baby. I'm just kind of tagging along. Um, and and I'm, I'm not afraid to say this to anybody. Yogi is doing an immense amount of work for all this to happen, and I'm grateful for myself. So, Yogi, thank you very much. But you guys got to check that out at geekyantics.wordpress.com. Now, you guys do see right above my head, voicemail. What the heck is voicemail? I don't know. Well, voicemail is actually when you call somebody and you have to leave a message for them. You can do that for us, too. Right there, 206-415-4987. Leave us a message. You guys are going to hear a couple. I didn't think he was going to play it on the show, but I really can't stop him. Um, so he's going to play my message. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't judge. That's all I can say. Don't judge, please. <laughs> Throughout the show, you guys can tweet us on uh, right here, Obi-1X at Obi-1X2, over there at YogiZilla. Um, and uh, make sure you guys uh, check out the, uh, our, our pages as well, YouTube page. And, um, of course, Yogi is actually uh, co-streaming right now on his page, which is at uh, twitch.tv forward slash YogiZilla. And, up, um, and don't forget to uh, check out Yogi's uh, actual blogs as well at uh, yomar.me and dualpassionline.wordpress.com. Whew, that was almost a tongue twister. And don't forget, if you do, guys, want to play Armor 2. Sorry, I got to do it. You guys want to play Armor 2 with me? That's one of the only games I am playing right now. It's right down there, 21st Regiment. Go hook us up. We'll, we'll get you guys to playing right. But anyway, let's get on with the show. I can't. I gotta say, Yogi. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Do it. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I. We were talking about that earlier. We're like, yeah, you you can just leave it up there. You don't have to say anything about it every. I can't, man. That's my clan. You know, that's 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 my guys. I I can't. Sorry, Yogi. <laughs> Hate me later. It's all right. I I've had Hate to hold back myself a lot because I have a clan that I've been running since like the you know nineties. Plug they, it. You know, nipples of fate. And people are like, our websites, anytime we, we do anything on the, online, we get tons of hits because people think it's it's a porn site. It's like, Nipples of Fate, ooh, that sounds kind of good. It's like, nope, it had nothing to do with porn. <laughs> well, even though we're not in the porn industry, we're actually in the talk show industry. Um, but you guys do, and we're not just on iTunes. I, for, I was going to forget all about it. We're on Stitcher, Talk Shoe. Um... And we're on a couple more, actually, and I don't have them in front of me. And So y Yogi's probably going to tell you what other ones we're on. <laughs> but stay tuned. Um, this is every night. Wow, every night. We're <laughs> tired every night. How's that? We are on live every Thursday night starting at 11. Like tonight, we started a little bit late, but you guys got to kind of hear this little bit of the pregame show on both Twitch channels right here, Obi-1X2 and Yogi Zola. What do you think, Yog? 
I think That's it's. It, I Anybody think it's does. good. I, I'm, I'm chatting. <laughs> Someone's already. We're already getting so, trolled. They're like, "Are you guys on Pornhub?" <laughs> no, we're not a porno hub. I promise. I don't think. That's as I saw. As, yeah, it's the one network we're not gonna go on. <laughs> as far as I know, we're not. If he's kind of doing the thing in the background, I don't know nothing about it. If you could send me some view videos, I will review those and get you those information back as soon as possible. Yes, my uh, my my porn <laughs> my porn actor name is uh, Jose Jalapeno. Jalapeno. And a steak. <laughs> Did you like to touch my steak? <laughs> what is, oh my god! Oh my god! What's up? Well, for, I do want to say for well, Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we do want to say right off the bat, we do have a, a couple of followers right in Twitch chat, so we'll holler out the little shout-outs to you guys. T. Curtis Jr., what's going on, man? Thanks for uh, for uh, coming out. Dark Reaper, XX1. Uh, Mr. Jed2000, what's going on? OP Noob, I am. I can't help it. I was born that way. Um, who else do we got here? And, um, of course, Yogi Zilla and myself are on there. Uh, thanks for uh, hanging out with us, guys. But we're going to get right... Uh, into some more shout outs that uh, Yogi's gonna just, you know, we got some people that we want to make sure that we say thank you to. Yeah, so lots of, we've been lots of love from uh, Chipsella and gang over at the B Team podcast, uh, Fred Rojas, um, Ryan Coles, aka Warren. Oh gosh, so many people. Uh, Neo Jake, uh, Jake uh, McClenahan. Cool guy. He does some music too, by the way. So check out his stuff. He has some stuff up on YouTube. He does a lot of like beats and stuff. So like, if you want some custom music, like intros and stuff, he could probably hook you up. Um, who else? Who else? James Fortengard, who left us like an eight-minute long voicemail. So I don't think we'll be able to play that. He he actually read a story for us. I told him we're going to talk about loosely about scary stuff tonight. Like, um, mm -hmm. that's kind of the idea. And he started reading a horror, uh, like a, a horror story and left it on the voice. I'm like, oof, that's kind of long, dude. <laughs> score. But yeah, there's, there's tons of people, so too many to name. You know, Sean Freeman over at uh, Zombie Cast, Knuckleballer Radio, Normie. Don't forget my uh, man. Don't you know, Matt, Matt, Bra Matt Bradford, of course, the king of derails. <laughs> Was it? At, it's at it's at it's at Moto, right? At at Matt, yeah, you said that on purpose this time. Matto at Matto McFly on Twitter. You know, everybody. If we missed anybody, you know who you are. We still love you. If we didn't say your name, promise. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and for some reason, <laughs> some reason Twitch is being like temperamental tonight for me. I don't know. I'm having issues. I'm having first world problems. <laughs> oh, we just had another That's... person join Winter Winter Live in the chat. So we got like, a lot of a lot of activity going on tonight. Ninety nine problems and ninety eight of them are me. <laughs> so he doesn't have much. I, well, I was scared. <laughs> I was scared I was gonna be like he's trying to bait us and then sing like a Jay Z song. So I was like, I don't know if I should acknowledge that. I got ninety nine problems and the bitch ain't one. It, it, isn't Jay Z the one that was uh, having fun with all the little girls? Now I think that's R. Kelly. Oh, I think you're confusing your black Jay -Z. your oh. black men. Dude, that's not even... My God. I'm just saying. I'm really glad that my my speakers went out for like two seconds, literally. Because I still know what you said. That's the thing. That's not even nice. <laughs> that's like me calling you a Mexican. Yeah, but that's I... That's not nice, is I it? I told you that rolls off my back. I'm used to it now. Yeah, look, look, Yogi, you're you no got, fun to mess with. <laughs> you got some, you got some love. That people like your hat. What hat? Oh, the eighty-eight. Is that what <laughs> you guys are saying? You I forgot. You forgot about your hat. <laughs> I, dude, I was just. I have. I was gonna wear a different hat today, and I didn't even. Yeah, whatever. We're having some issues in a different area of my life and it, yeah my hat was not my concern i apologize everybody <laughs> why does it uh, because basically we're gonna go over this again why does it say we're playing league of legends um 
it's the only thing that I know that because I do play League of Legends, it's the only thing that I can put because we've kept it on League of Legends every time. If they would make a talk show channel for streams, I would be in that. Um, <laughs> I do apologize. I, yeah, I'm not playing League of well, Legends right now. I think but, also uh, when we... Play. Yeah, I think also we put it in there because those like we tend to put the games that we're playing currently or that we're most popular with us right now. That's like a little hook because eventually we'll talk about League of Legends or we'll talk about... Whatever else we put. Like I, I, this week, I put Daisy because I was playing that a little bit, you know. But yeah, League of Legends is kind of like our roots. We got started with the MOBA. I said we've talked many uh, an hour of about MOBAs and especially League of Legends. <laughs> but <laughs> you, yeah, no, you love it. I do, but anyway, but I, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be you know false advertising or nothing. But I like League of Legends as much as I like playing my you know with my unit in Arma too. So. But um, but I used to play WoW, and I don't play that at all anymore. So, to some people, uh, it's a disappointment. To some people, it's they're actually happy I don't play anymore because I was quite the dickhead. All right. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Yogi, are we moving on? Are, are we moving? Oh. I guess so. Yeah, you were doing shoutouts. <laughs> No, I think it's all the shout-outs for now. Uh, we, I mean, we just have Boss Dude 6 just tell us that he's a huge fan. He watches this all the time. I don't know if he's being facetious, but thank you for that. <laughs> I can never tell we're in chat when people, I can never tell when people are trying to bait us. But well, it's all good fun. Uh, you know, there's always going to be people that come in here. Like, like I've seen him before, I believe. It's, it's the same guy. But um, I've seen that sort of that name, so I've, I kind of recognize him a little bit. But, like, you know, like T. Curtis, of course, he's a mod. I've seen Dark Reaper before. So, I mean, these people that come in, and they even if they're trolling us, we're just having fun. That's Dark, all we're doing. Dark Reaper we're likes to give us a hard Dark Reaper likes to give us a hard time. We're getting some tweets in, too, man. It's busy tonight. Oh, I'm getting tweets, too. <laughs> and, like all right, so we got a question right off the bat and while we're doing our introductory section. We'll just ask real quick. I don't know if he's being serious, but Winter Live asks, can you teach me how not to feed? Now, you know, whether it's serious or not, I know a lot of people have this question when they talk about MOBAs. And I think it's a universal truth in all um, MOBAs that what you want to do if you don't want to feed that much is get your mindset. I, for me, what works is get your mindset off of getting lots of kills. That's the number one thing because the first thing people do is when they jump into a MOBA is that they get really aggressive, really antsy, you know, because they come off of the background of playing like shooters. You know, you play an FPS game, you know, the main performance indicator in those games is... is uh, you know, kill death ratio. That's pretty much it. There's no other thing. There's nothing else really matters. So people go into the game, they're like, I want to get lots of kills, and that's it. And then they start overextending, you know, they start attack attacking the champions near their, t their turrets or their towers. You know, that applies in Dota 2, Smite, LoL, Guardians of Middle Earth. Every, any mobile you play, it, 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 you're going to run into that. So I say get your mind off of the kill death ratio and just be patient. Think about positioning. Be very aware of your surroundings. Pay attention to uh, all the blips. If you see people missing, don't wait for someone to call it. Be aware of your of your map. If you see that, you know, two other lanes or another lane is getting pushed hard, and I'm, and the, and the, the, the enemies there are missing, more than likely they're gonna they're gonna gank you. You know, just be aware for that. If you overextend, if you're extended really far in the lane and you have no support, chances are you're gonna be ganked very soon. So you know, don't stay t somewhere too long. Make your moves, make them fast, and if you miss an opportunity, don't try to force it. I think that's a general thing I can say to people that feed a lot. Is just don't be so aggressive. I mean, it's good to be apply pressure, but it doesn't mean just be sloppy either. You know, the, the, it's, it's kind of like a psychological game. You got to get make yourself appealing to the person to make them want to attack you, but don't make yourself an easy kill either. It's, you know, you want to make wear them out and, and make it seem like you messed up, but then be aware of, like, every move you make is deliberate. You know, it's like, oh... Oh, he overextended. I'm gonna get him, but it's actually a trap. You know, make sure you set the 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 the, the uh, conditions of the engagement. You know, I, I think that's the biggest thing. Once you learn that, every MOBA is pretty easy to dissect. When you learn the pacing of the game, you know where they're. You know, every every MOBA has like a laning phase, and then they have a phase where you like start floating around and ganking, and then you know, that's that's pretty much the progression of every MOBA. You know, there's two main phases. <laughs> Winter Life says that Dark feeds, Dark Reaper feeds a lot. <laughs> right. Well, and, and like what Yogi was saying. They don't even know each other, supposedly. Um, this this chat's know, crazy. They got to get in here. <laughs> yeah, it is. I, I like it. I love it. Um, but when, you, when you're 
you know, even what lane you're in, um, even if you're a support, uh, there's the times to where when you start playing more and more and more, you and you play the same champions. So if you like support and you're playing Thresh and you're playing Leona and you're playing, say, Annie, those are your three supports that you want to play. Uh, so you're going to know exactly what at level two or level six or level seven where your power spikes are going to come from, uh, what what piece of gear they're going to come from, what you know what you can do and what you can't do. Um, you know, if you're playing Thresh, you can throw a, a, a chain to grab somebody, and if they're running away, if they're still at the end by a little bit, that hook will actually reach out and get them. I've done it before, it's and it made kills. Um, so, I mean, there's just little things that you get, if you play more and play more, that you'll, you'll actually get better and figure out, like if you're in ADC, you know how much your damage is doing at each level. You know what you can do to, like, you know, last hit minions, or just to get that last little bit of a shot on another character, you know, with trades and whatnot. So you just got to be smart, basically, like the Yogi was saying. <laughs> I support Heimerdinger. I will play with you any day. I main Lucian in ADC. See, Heimerdinger, I'm going to say this. He, the way they, they changed him recently, I mean, not, it's not that recent now, but his last change, they made him really powerful early game, where before he was more of an end game character. Level but 15, he falls off. Bad. Yeah, he, he falls off now. Like, he's really annoying early on because he's got so much defensive ability, so many defensive abilities, and that burst damage is nasty. You don't want to get caught out by yourself ne next to his turrets, his traps, when you're the only target he has to focus on. But if he gets ganked and you have your creeps with you, see, again, it goes back to the positioning. Stick with your creeps, stick with your teammates. You know, if you if mm -hmm. you keep numbers on your side and map awareness on your side, you usually will come out out of sticky situations or win out of, win on battles. But anyway, we we'll probably talk more League of Legends. It's inevitable. That's that's one of our main games that we oh, always show love to. Well, we're gonna play that regardless, just because we love it anyway. So, word. So. While Obi's Where's distracted you? there, I we're, am distracted. We're, we're done with the shout-outs. But, you know, don't forget to uh, tweet us at uh, Obi-Wan-X2 and uh, YogiZilla. And also uh, at Geeky Antics. Geeky Antics. And, uh, the Geekster. The Geekster. <laughs> don't confuse people now. They're going to think that's actually a thing. That's, part, that's probably a thing, but not our thing. Geeky Antics on Twitter. Uh, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I'm just a terrible host or co-host or... I think you're the main guy anyway in this this operation. Will you stop it? Anyway, okay. <laughs> we're, we're, the chat is like off the chain tonight. It's, I know I'm getting so it's like crazy too. I love it, man. You gotta join us live for the full experience. You know, horseplay live. You gotta go on Twitch. You know, uh, Obi One X Two Twitch channel. I also mm -hmm. simulcast on, on my channel, Yogizilla. You know, and also we'll be posting a lot more information on how to connect with us, how to get involved, how to participate, how to contribute, how to, you know, whatever, collaborate, if you want to. That's the easiest way to say it. Just go to the Geeky Antics Network global site at uh, geekyantics.wordpress.com. And we're probably going to get an official .com soon enough. You know, we're just trying to build up everything little by little. We don't want to go in, get in over our heads. But mm -hmm. on that site, we share a lot of our favorite uh, podcasts and blog posts. Um, we have some exclusive content coming, um, uh, like some new shows and stuff that we're working on. Um, we actually got a few hosts that are interested in doing some new stuff. I mean, we got a lot of stuff in the pipelines coming up soon enough. But also, neat, the latest and greatest, again, our voicemail hotline. And also for facts, if you want to send us a fax, which will be weird. Yeah, it's on, it's on the overlay if you're watching the video on YouTube or Twitch. It's uh, 206-415-4987. 206-415-4987. And, uh, yeah, we will, we will play and respond to your messages live on the show. And we're going to do, we'll do it for the first time on this show. More ways to connect with us. So don't be shy. Show us some love. And, yeah. And, by the way, again, much love yeah. to, uh, <laughs> much love to uh, Tim Curtis. He's been uh, pimping out our show on uh, all the Twitter accounts he manages on all games and uh, in the uh, chat on IRC as well. Uh... <laughs> no, I'm not. It's a... Are you serious? Whoa, yeah, are and... you really serious? They're I... talking, man. Keep going. Yeah, they're, they're I, saw, yeah I, saw, I saw that. I saw that. We're just smoking e cigs we, you know, we're, we're trying not to stink up the house. So this is our... It hurts my feelings. This is a way for us to, to keep level-headed. 
and 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 also at the same time caffeinated, I guess. Uh, upped, upped, n- nicotine, whatever you nicotinated, nicotinated. <laughs> Is that nicotinated. a thing? Nicotinated. That's a dude. That's her. <laughs> nicotinated. Let's coin that. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now nicotinated. We are nicotinated. There you go. But uh. So I just wanted to say this, Mr. Jed two thousand just said that he mains Urgot on League of, League of Legends. Mad props, because oh, Urgot dude, I, I will... think is very underrated. Dude, okay, I don't care if you guys are in League of Legends NA. I'm putting my 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 name in here. Uh, that's my. Uh, it's actually same as my name. Uh, that is my summoner name. If you play Urgot and you main Urgot, I will support for you all the way up to freaking platinum. Or whatever the freaking highest is. I tell you what, Urga, yeah. if or Ur- Urga or Urga, God whatever you want to say. Powered, man. Yeah, it's the only like, thing that's bad sick. about him is that he's slow and he's got a really short range. But once he gets no, a lock on you, no, 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 his main shot it has a short range. But once you get the the lock on the person with the ooze, and then you can shoot the homie missiles on them, that's fine. But if you get someone that has really good CC and combining with Urga, oh man. If you well, can't you got, if you can't run away from it, if you get slowed with Urgot, oh man. What are my three main support champs that I play? Thresh, Annie, and Wow, well, we nope. haven't I Jonah. can't t- I can't tell we haven't played in a while, bro. You haven't supported oh, me on, in a long time. That's cause you That makes me sad. No, no, don't say no, it's my fine. fault. No, nope, I'm a text nope. or phone call away. Stop it. No, no, uh, no, no, no matter no. what I'm in the middle of, you know, all you got to do is just hit me up. And I and I could more than likely will drop it for a quick game of League of Legends, which is never quick because, you know, they're usually 30-minute matches, 40-minute matches. And you never want to just play one. It's like a Pringle. You can't just have just one. I know everybody just heard this. Now, for those that are just listening on the podcast, he just dissed me. He just dissed me that really bad, and nobody caught it. So I'm gonna make. I sure wasn't dissing. Know. I'm just saying I'm not feeling the love. You you've replaced me. We're supposed to get a horseplay <laughs> team started on for casual rank play, you know. And you said, "Oh, I got a team already." Oh yeah, I, I play in my clan on Armor Two and League of Legends. Oh, okay, I see how it is. Well, that doesn't that doesn't happen anymore. So yes, okay, I will. Damn it. Um, as soon as things slow down, like I said to you last week, as soon as everything slows down and my extra stuff that I'm doing outside of the computer world or the internet, uh, as soon as all that slows down, man, we will definitely do that because I want to actually start up a couple different games, you know, to where we can play together and especially more games with our with the, the fans of course play and fans of us uh, so we can actually play together. Ow. Let's go back to the show because we've done derailed ourselves. Twi- we're, Twitter, we're gonna... tweets, tweets. I can't help it. Yes, we're gonna tweet it now, guys. All right, anybody on here, and it, it, you got friends on Twitter, tell them to retweet it. We are going to hashtag. What is it? Nick, Nicolated. Nick, <laughs> Nickinated. Nickinated. We are gonna hashtag hashtag Nickinated. I'm gonna start it right now. Okay, and it's serious. I'm gonna put it off. You guys aren't following me. Follow me right now. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna probably not even spell it right. It's, wow, it's already up there, really? <laughs> Are you serious? No, it's not. All right. Since I can't spell because I'm half. Never mind. You having I'm issues? Get in for this stuff. No, I'm just gonna get in trouble for the stuff that I would say right now. So I'm not even gonna do it. Okay, hashtag Nickinated, right there. I've sent it. You guys like it? Post it. Tweet it. Retweet it. We'll see how far we get with it. <laughs> I probably didn't even do it right either. It's just like a just I just tweeted. That's it. Hashtag Dickinated. That's it. I just did. Too. So, so anybody knows anybody that sees our Twitter. She. Oh, oh my God. Anybody that sees our Twitter is going to be like <laughs> hashtag Nickinated. What the heck is this? Well, it's a marketing plug. We're going to get them curious enough to check it out. <laughs> hashtag Nickinated. Get your Nickinate on. At horseplay. <laughs> N- Nick and Nade is going to be our future product. It'll be liquid nicotine. That'll probably liquid be nasty nicotine. as hell. <laughs> uh, Though I have to say, it's right I've here. swallowed some of this oil. Yeah, but I, have you ever it's swallowed some of this oil? Ugh. Actually, mine was really tasty because I have the menthol. And like, 
like I had some come on my lip, and I had like menthol on my mouth the whole day. I was like, oh, it's delicious. Every time I was breathing, it's menthol. <laughs> Winter, right. Winter Live says we yeah. we should stop streaming right now and carry him on uh, League of Legends. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, yeah, I'll get right on that. Um, I don't green screen because um, when me and me and Yogi are talking, we're actually on Skype together as well, so we like to see each other's you know facial expressions and stuff. And I can't green screen off of Skype properly; it just doesn't work for some reason. So. That's what, hence why it's green. I'm thinking about just putting a, a sign back there while I'm streaming just to have it up. But anyway, it's good. Not a big deal. We'll try to get it working here soon. Man crushes and geek girls. The segment for today. I'm still trying to look for it in the show notes, so I'm just kind of reading slow. Oh, okay. Like, so I'll just say, slow. you know, yeah, that, we don't, have, we don't have, obviously don't have a guest today, but. If you want it to be a guest or, su- or you want to suggest one of your favorite man crushes or geek girls, again, contact us on Twitter or the official gang site, geekyantics.wordpress.com. Uh, all on the video, so you can check that out there. And we love to have you. We love, we love having guests. And was, again, Obi, uh, as Obi said, he, for- <laughs> he forgot to, to sign into the new uh, Horseplay Live account so we can have some call-ins and be s- properly set up for it. Sorry. But uh, that's all right. Sorry, but next next show for sure. Next you can week, still, next you can week. Still, you can still interact with us on the chat and the Twitter chat and uh, and Twitch. Next week we will log in to the the uh, the other Skype to where you guys can call in, uh, definitely because we do want to hear you guys. We do want to want you guys to be engaged with us. Just because it's you know sometimes it's I want to hear somebody else's voice besides that guy. Um, but uh, you know it's just and uh, you know hey. base, so he's probably pointing. <laughs> he just seen it. He's probably over here too. I don't want to hear this guy's voice anyway. But anyway, back to it. We're getting so off track today. It's not even funny because we're both like watching Twitter repeatedly, watching the, you know, oh man, what are we doing? Don't even know. So we're gonna get right into it. Obligatory news. This is the news that we think is obligatory. That was a good one, right? <laughs> it's for the news that we think is obligatory because we're, yeah, obli- just we're the, obliged to say the name twice and just make sure that I say it in the beginning and in the end. <laughs> it's like uh, well, that, that whole meme, uh, you know, bad game is bad. <laughs> yeah, bad game is bad. Man, so what's going on in the news? This uh, we talked about. Um, if anybody heard about it. The uh, Jeopardy douchebag is what we call him. Andrew Chu. Uh, this week's dick of the week. <laughs> it's, I like that, man. Yeah, yeah. Last, Ken- last, last week's th- dick of the week was Andrew Chu. And this mm-hmm. week, which, which one is this week, Obi? Ken Levine. Yeah. Levine. Is, did I say it right? Levine? Levine? It's Levine. You had it right the first time. Ken go, Levine. Go with your gut. Who we learned a few weeks back is devolving dissolving wait I'm, I'm lost I'm my stuff's read that it my, just went out you want to read it some... oh is yeah. it yeah there's some weird there's some, some weird things going on with the interweb today all right so wow. yeah that's so Ken Levine he's he's the dick of the week because I mean this have this actually this news broke a while ago but it's still kind of buzzing about because uh, he's dissolve he's dissolving irrational games and these are the guys that produced uh, Bioshock Infinite now I'll get, we'll come back. To, we'll circle back to that. But Ken says that it's not about the money, so we know it is, because anytime they say it's not about the money, it always is. He, but supposedly he wants to join a smaller team. Now what I think, and a lot of people are thinking, is that um, it, it's a big part of it is because of Bioshock Infinite. Uh, supposedly they invested two hundred million in the production of it, and mm-hmm. that's like a big movie budget, pretty much. You know, and it, it even though it's critically acclaimed and sold over four million units. You know, uh, 2K expected more, uh, more sales. They expected a lot more from it uh, to to offset that 200 million investment. So I'm thinking they're just downsizing the game an option. Well, we'll either fire you and everybody else, or you dissolve your division, your your team, your studio, and then we'll ma- reassign it to an, a smaller studio, or whatever. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> which which is really not bad because he kind of gets a start over, I guess. 
But it's kind of a dick move that he's just giving in. Yeah. Chat, you and chat. Twitter are just blowing that shit up today, aren't you? The, the, the you guys, chat. keep doing it. Keep doing it. Blow his shit up. Well, right now they're talking. Uh, some people are like really like uh, for me at the mouth talk about uh, League of Legends. Someone wants to share some Urgot tips. So yeah, maybe we want, if we get to the free balling section this time, all right, Geeks Engage will open up the lines to just talk about whatever everybody Definitely. has on their mind. Uh, <laughs> and, and of course, people are are, uh, are trolling each other in the chat. Someone's like, you know, they're doing they're keeping the League of Legends spirit going, so they're like reported. You know, <laughs> that's a big thing you hear on a League of Legends a lot. It's like reported. Yeah, Why? guys, we lose. I'm gonna go AFK for a few minutes. <laughs> Mid or feed. Just saying. Oh my god. So yeah, let's go. Keep going with the news. But yeah, real dick move for for Ken. Um, you know, these are people that are losing their livelihood on a whim, basically. Um, and I don't know. I, I'm I, I'm sad about it because I, as someone that actually loves the Bioshock series, I feel like they're never gonna come back to their former glory. I think I, I think that's, that's it for it. Um, and I like all three of the games that have come out to date, uh, Bioshock 1, Bioshock 2, and Bioshock Infinite. I, th I think that each game was great for its own reasons, but, uh, oh well. We and I, I never got into Bioshock. I started to, and I was like, man, do I want to buy it? It's only a couple bucks for the first one. And then I find out it's like three or four more left. I'm like, no, I'm not buying it. Not going to happen. Because I got to start a whole new one. Reported for AFK. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going AFK. <laughs> Peace. The, the chat. All right, while you keep looking at the chat, I'll keep going. I with am. The you news. keep going, news. I'll, we'll kind of, you know, alternate. So, yeah, uh, D DC Nate over at uh, All Games Chat uh, shared a very interesting link. Um, and it's at, it's a, oh, it's a, over at edx.org. I'm not going to screen share anything or Obi's not going to get share it but uh if you want to look it up go to edx.org we're not getting paid for this or anything but i thought it was interesting uh because if you're looking to brush brush up your it skills or break into the industry for the first time they have a free linux course that's like a 2400 dollars value over at edx.org so that's pretty neat just throwing that out there we get you know we, we got to cover all the spectrums the gaming the entertainment another tweet just went through <laughs> and yeah, uh dude, and, and the tech stuff too, so. It's all good. We like getting blown up. Blow us up. Yeah, but uh, what else? What else do we have? Back to the gaming. Uh, Titanfall dropped this week, and we're probably going to talk a little, little bit about that um, if we get to mm -hmm. open up the, the lines to some feedback, see what everybody thinks about that. But uh, it's been critically acclaimed as the killer app for the Xbox One. Um, it's also available on the PC, but, you know, it's really considered a, like, like the flagship game for the Xbox One. But that's not m saying much since that's really the only game that's new on there that's r worth talking about. Uh, you know, and, and, well, at least the only multiplayer game, and that's really what makes the platforms. These single player games really do, usually don't sell systems, as far as I'm concerned. Right. But um, so yeah, Titanfall, all the big time. And we're probably, like I said, we'll probably talk about that a little bit. I know people are playing it on the PC, and um, what you call it, uh, Xbox One. And also on that note, there, there's rumors that it might be releasing for the Mac as well, which I think is kind of silly, but okay. <laughs> at least the Mac owners will have something to play, but uh, <laughs> uh, also here's a here's a really random one. Shaq Fu, a legend reborn. It's the sequel. Shaq Fu. So Shaq Fu supposedly making a comeback, and this just goes to show that uh, crowdfunding has really opened up the door to some really crazy ideas. Uh, you know, and by the way, shout outs to, to Gaming History 101 for uh, putting us onto this news. Uh, I've been avoiding Kickstarter and stuff like that because there's so many tempting things that, to throw your money behind. And it's like, well, I'm, I'm trying to get into frugal mode right now uh, and, and save the money for some future investments for the network and some uh, new upgrades and gaming stuff and whatnot. A lot of stuff in the pipelines there. But, you know, it's interesting that people are trying, there's this trend of uh, trying to, like, um, revitalize these games that I don't think anybody has had on their minds for a long time, not even through random bouts of nostalgia. But it's a, it's an interesting concept. Um, they, you know, they also had recently, they had Booger Man and some other, like, random games up. They had General Chaos. Now, General Chaos is, like, an older game 
That was a, gen, a, a Genesis game. It was, also, it was on some other platforms, but you know, 16-bit era. General Chaos would have been a game I would have liked to see come back. Cause that was a really fun game, some really unique game mechanics. But it's, you know, some of these other games are trying to bring back. It's like, why leave it alone? <laughs> you got the League of Legends chat. You guys got to come on the on, on the Twitch chat, Twitch.tv forward slash op one x two. Or just, if you're already in the Twitch ecosystem, just look up ob one x two or or me, uh, Yogi Zilla. And uh, join the fun, but the main, the main, the main place to be right now is Obi Wan X Two. That's the chat. The chat is going crazy. It Twitter. is, and I'm saying this to everybody. You guys see it all there. I play all five positions, and I just play one good champion all five positions. The champions I know how to play. So there you go. I'm saying it, and I know where I'm. Get, I'm actually going to solve topic this week. This is my turn. Uh, Zach Top. <laughs> um, Elise is my best jungle. I can play a little bit of uh, you know Elise Sin. Uh, Gragas, that's my man. The drunk, of course, uh, or Ziggs, um, and then AD carry would be Lucian, or um, I can play some Caitlyn, which is pretty good. And then my support is Thresh Leona. So there's my guys. I will play with anything. So stop with the troll. I'm trying not to troll. Okay. <laughs> Who say you're trolling? <laughs> no, that- Dark was telling somebody to stop trolling, and I'm t- I'm t- trying not to. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh man! Am I still reading the news? Are you done with yeah. your bit, your little derail? Yeah, yeah. I was, I was yeah. tweeting out. I was tweeting out. All right. So next I thing. Turn off the track. Sorry. Ah, that's cool, man. I just want to make sure you got the League of Legends out of your system. It's 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 a disease, man. I've been actually trying to convert a few people over to Dota two and, and League of Legends, but that, one person, Neo Jake, was like, I I, I can't do it because I know my uh, addictive personality. Yeah, see, that's kind of forehead to your camera. Why? Trying to get, pull them out of League of Legends? What's no, wrong I'm try- with you? no, I'm trying to convert them to it. Oh, to, to, you're trying to convert from Dota to okay. No, no, I, I was trying to com- League of Legends. I was trying I'm to convert like, them. Want to play? No, no, I want to convert them over to play League of Legends or Dota two. You know, either one, because you know. I'm so sorry. That, but because you know the thing I like about the game about the, both the games, you know, it's like it's like a TCG, like Hearthstone or Soul Forge. They're, I think they're like what you could call pick up and play games, you know, like yeah, like they're easy enough to learn, but then you know they always they, it'll take you a lifetime to master them because there's always new things going on and the meta is mm-hmm. constantly changing. But you could play them casually awesome. or you could play them hardcore, you know. Like I said, but with MOBA it's a little more intimidating because people feel like there's such a really steep learning curve. Like it's really tough to to really get through the core mechanics and it's really just the mindset of it understanding the, the main tactics and strategy of it but anyway i won't get back on that thing so anyway um more gaming stuff uh obscure and obscure 2 which were uh games uh horror survival type games uh formerly on the original xbox are now on steam both for under ten dollars so if you're looking for some cheap games to play um, you know, I know there's been a lot of talk about Outlast and uh, Slender, all the different games that come out of that whole uh, genre, DayZ. If you like those kind of games along those veins, you may you check it out. Uh, from what I've been told, these are I, I missed these games on the original Xbox, but I've I've seen them and I've heard of them. Um, but it, it, people compare it to like a uh, campy horror movie, kind of like Ill Bleed was on Dreamcast. So you may de- dig that this game, these games, if you're uh, into that kind of thing. Also, in these remixed versions, they have full controller support, and uh, they've made it more stable for PC um, compatibility purposes and whatnot. And also, they have the third installment, which a lot of people do not like. The fans of the series do not like uh, the third one, which is Final Exam. But uh, it is neat because it has four-player co-op uh, gameplay, so that's worth a look. But what I'm most excited about in gaming news, uh, it, it, and it's not Titanfall or any of the next-gen stuff, I am excited about... Uh, the Humble Bundle this week. And I know we usually talk about this uh, mm-hmm. under Cheap Bastards, but it's, I think it's a big news thing because this is one of the biggest bundles they've done yet. 19 games. 19 Sega games for oh, 6 Sega. bucks. I, look, Sega, I'm a Sega fanboy. You know, the only reason... I would buy every Sega game under the sun if I had more time for gaming. And you guys heard it right here. He is a Sega fanboy. I love Sega. I want to emphasize that word, fan. I think I think fan. I think there's two kinds of fanboys. I think there's a fanboy that 
that is like a brand ambassador and he's a loyalist, but he's open minded enough to try out other things. And then there's the fanboy that's like, if you don't like what he likes, you're you're an asshole. Like I had someone that because I told him that I would never buy a PS4 or PS3 because there's no reason for me to buy those systems. Like, yeah, but look at all the exclusives. And he mentioned all these games, and I'm like, none of those interest me. He's like, you're not a gamer. That's like the bad kind of fanboy. And I thought I thought it was hilarious when someone told me that. Like, like really? I'm not a gamer because I don't want to play those games. Okay. Okay, that's <laughs> okay. I got. I hear you there. Then okay, we're good then. But dude, I mean. It's a great bundle. It's got ten classic games. It's got um, one of the sleeper hits that uh, I, I think everybody's checked out. That I've I've seen lots of good things about it, and I've heard so many good things about it. I'm I think I'm finally gonna pull a trigger on it. Uh, binary domain, uh, and it looks amazing from the gameplay videos I've seen and screenshots and everything. And everybody that has played this is like it's amazing, but it's like one of those games that just fell under the radar. So I mean that's worth it. But then uh, also you get Typing of the Dead Overkill, which we've talked about on, on the show before, mm -hmm. which is hilarious, especially if you buy the filthy or, or dirty DLC where it just says the most grotesque, you know, vulgar things you can think of. Oh, it's great. And, um, and it has two of the Total War franchise games, I think Shogun and Rome. So, I mean, that's a huge deal. I mean, it even has Alpha Protocol, which isn't a bad game either. So... Check it out, you know, 19 games, Humble Bundle Weekly, so that should be good until next Wednesday, Thursday, the 20th, 19th, 19th to 20th of March, 2014, to give you a frame of reference. I would jump on that for six bucks, that Humble Bundle Weekly is one of the first ones in a while that's really attracted me, especially since the Steam Holiday Seal. Um, that's a, there's so many awesome games there. <laughs> Someone's like fighting. I was like, oh no, Nintendo's better. We won't get into that. <laughs> oh no, we're not doing that debt this shit tonight. Oh no. Yeah, we've we done had, that. We've, we've, we've had a long fight about this before. Yeah. And yeah. I really don't want to get into that again because I'm going to lose it because people are going to tell me why PlayStation's better than. Uh, this is, we're talking about Nintendo, but yeah, no. We'll, it'll get into the PS4 and yeah, Xbox. And it, it, it inevitably becomes a, a console war thing. But, you know, I will, I will say this. Um, the reason I, One of the reasons I love Sega is because they've always been very risque with the marketing. They've always taken chances on really crazy projects. Some don't work, but some of them are such unique things. It's like, you know, they're, they're less conservative. They're more, like radical get out there and just try out new things to get it done you know fit, fit, you know all or nothing fit, win or lose just do it and i like i like that approach but also they're very engaged with the community like i i've heard a lot of the guys uh in the sega team um you know in sega uh, japan sega america that are involved in the community whether it's um you know, chatting with them on Twitter or or, or, or joining on podcasts. We might, we might get some of their guys over here. The localization team is very mm -hmm. engaged with the community. The the Kiwi people, you know, they have they have dedicated people just just there to to be the face for Sega to to get a feedback from the community. I mean, they're just really involved. They're not just this faceless entity, and and I like that. It's it's a huge corporation that has a small business feel to it, like the culture. And I and I've always liked it about them. And, and again, they've they spawned some of my favorite games of all time. And you know, I, I think even now that they're just pu doing publishing and software development, they still have some games that are like real gems. And you know, unless you're looking for them, you may you may miss them. You know. But anyway, enough of my about my Sega love. What's the next? Um, so yeah, now moving on from the game, the world of gaming, uh, in the world of podcasting, Dead Pixel Live hit um, 800 episodes. Oh, and Derek, congrats. yeah, eight hundred episodes. Is a big what milestones, a big milestone there. And uh, Derek H announced that it would be the last show, and uh, a, lot, a lot of us uh, over at All Games were, uh, All Games chat on IRC were like sad about that. We'll miss him, but we we feel we know that we have a feeling he'll be back. But he's gonna be focusing on uh, doing things for the All Games Network. Um, but people were joking. They were like, "Hey, Horseplay should take his time slot on you know Thursday nights at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern, right before B Team Podcast." And I was like, "Well, that's really up to Derek H. You know, I, I won't say no. We, I, I'm sure we won't say no. That might be that'd be a huge change for us if we went on, a, on a, such an earlier time. Cause we're like the night owls. I wouldn't be able to make it though. I know, I know. That's but, the thing. Well, in two weeks I would be able to, but still, I, um, 
now it's summertime. It's golf season now. So well, I'm sure he's right. got something lined up too. By the way, so, oh, you, if you're into golf, are you coming down for Masters weekend? You'll be in my neck of the woods then. I guess no, to Georgia. Oh, can't do that. I got too much going on here. We got a business that my wife's running into business too. So we're kind of, we're kind of a. Uh, I'm kind of uh, making sure that she gets hers off the ground and gets running, because uh, that'll just help me out in the future. I know how that is. It's, it's hard. <laughs> I get, I get people that invite me to go on different trips, and people are like, hey, I'll fly you out here for this convention, or we'll do this, and it's just hard for me to pick up and go. It's not like my younger years where I'd just be like, oh, sure, on a, on a whim, I'll fly out to Vegas or Atlanta and be like, done, whatever. And Well, yeah, when we get to that point, of course, we'll I'll come out to see you. Hell, I'll bring you up here. We can do a show. We'll do it in the studio. <laughs> One day, yeah. One day. And actually, all, uh, all Games Network, they have their own studio, too. Uh, I think it's out in, in, in Cali, in L.A. They have their own little uh, building, even. So, you know, one day, if we do if we do end up working with uh, All Games officially, you know, that might be one of the future yeah. announcements there. That'll, but yeah, that's... That'll, uh, be, that'll be really fun. Yeah, it'd be neat being in the physical room with other people. It changes the whole dynamic completely. But um, you, you have any other news, uh, Obi? I kept it pretty well, short this this week. Um, no, I don't think so. I don't think I think we've hit everything actually. Um, what I do want to let you guys know is some little bit of news. Is uh, just a reminder: we are going to be uh, consolidating a lot of our uh, the horseplay and you know the geeky antics and all that stuff. We're going to be consolidating a lot of that uh, to where we can actually, like we said earlier. Of course, get you guys on the on the show itself, uh, even here live on the stream. Uh, but just making sure that you guys can get in there and it's just as much happy, happy thoughted viewers and listeners as we possibly can get, because that's you know that's what we want to do. That's one of our goals for this show and even future shows. We want to make sure that we get just a bunch of viewers and bunch of a uh, bunch and bunch of listeners. So, because um, I actually listen to uh, right around Sunday night, maybe Monday morning, I'll turn on my uh, my uh, my cell phone, put my earphones in, and I'll listen to our <laughs> our show on Stitcher uh, from Thursday. So it may kind of give us a little bit of a, you know, what we're doing, how we're doing it, and you know, uh, things that I can work on myself. You know, like the the intro today it was totally different. You know, so now I, you know, I've worked on on that. So we just keep going throughout the show. Now then we're just going to be badass. Straight up. Word. Speaking of badass. It's just, Word. Did you see my, my uh, post-production work on the last episode? Mm-hmm. I did. The little studio, studio fades and everything. I did. I did. I, 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 did I, like I pimped it. it, bro. I pimped it, bro. <laughs> now, I got a question for you, Yogi. You've been talking a lot. Lately, this show. <laughs> but I know, don't take that the wrong way. That but sounds I know, bad. <laughs> Out of context. Go ahead. I'm sorry. But I know that you are uh, with our geeky antics, with our with our our new network, and that we're we're forming and everything. That you still want to give stuff away. You still want to give games away. You still want to give. Um, you know anything and everything that you can possibly give away to our viewers? What what are some of those some of those stuff we got that it's 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 going to be on geekyandics. dot wordpress. dot com. Yeah. Um, and so I mean, what are the some of the stuff we're going to be giving away here short, shortly? So yeah, originally it was going to be like a cross promotion thing across both of our Twitch channels, you know, and and we'll definitely like uh, use that to promote it. But I think the main hub's going to be on geekyantics. dot wordpress. dot com. I might be waiting for us to get officially hosted on, uh, get us set up on a self hosted server so that we could do uh, like a full plug in with you know the giveaway right in the on the blog and uh, do it that way, make it much cleaner. Um, but part of that will you know what we'll, we'll probably be doing before we even kick the giveaways in full in full you know full gear came to full gear is uh stop reading the chat <laughs> no but uh what we'll probably do is is maybe do like a little bit of fundraising because some people said they wanted to pitch in and donate and stuff so we'll probably start setting up that stuff and we've been talking to some potential sponsors to do affiliate marketing endorsements and uh get some free gear and stuff like that um so there's a lot of things in the pipeline but to start it off we'll probably just make it very simple um, I'm, I might just do like a, a, a Twitch giveaway and then promote, well, promote it on Twitch, but then do it on Geeky Antics and there'll be a couple, a few games that we have 
and maybe I'll just do like a couple of them and then save the rest of them for we do the big giveaways and it'll be giveaway after giveaway after giveaway like we'll do several months of doing it back to back but I got right now I got in my inventory um, I think I got a copy of did I get a copy of Armor 2? I may have. I got so many things in there, but I know I got uh, extra copies of Skulls of the Shogun, uh, Magic 2014, um, Risk of Rain, Guns of Icarus Online, Hammer Watch. I even got Game Dev Tycoon, which is one I keep forgetting about. It's not a multiplayer game, but I, I think it's a fun one because it's one of those games, again, you can just pick up and play and... You know, and it also gives you a little bit of insight into the game development process. It's pretty neat the way it simulates the game development. It misses some of the marks and stuff, but it's really fun. But most of the games, you know, the idea behind it is not just to give back to our community, but also to have, give people games that they may, you know, they may not have the opportunity to get those games otherwise, and that we can play together, you know? Right. And we love to ha set up those opportunities where we could, you know, get, do giveaways and then follow it up with, like, a, a game night, you know, some different community events like that. Um, so, that's part of the, uh, idea there, and again, uh, we're thinking about doing the League of Legends, uh, horse play, uh, ranked teams for a casual play. Uh, we'll be doing some of, some of the, the these, uh, updates on our Steam community group, uh, for horse play, so you can connect with us there, it's just horse play, look us up. Uh, cause a lot of these will be Steam giveaways, actually pretty much all of them I think will be, because it's the easiest way to get it out to people, just send them the key, gift it to them. Mm -hmm. Um... You don't have to worry about shipping anything. Because shipping stuff gets... It changed, the logistics of it changes a lot of stuff. We want to make sure people get this stuff in their hands right away. And get to enjoy it right away. But, you know, Definitely. we'll eventually do some, some like, physical things. Like headsets and gaming mice, keyboards, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Um, and I'm definitely, I definitely have big plans to get back into Twitch. Because there was a time when... You saw me. I used to do Twitch for, like... I used to do Twitch for, like, three to five hours a day. And sometimes I'd go on like six hour, six to eight hour marathons, like late night, you know, streaming everything from Scrolls to Soul Forge, League of Legends, Dota 2. I mean, er everything under the sun I could possibly get my hands on, and also some lesser known games. Um, and I'm gonna get try to get back into that once. You know, the main thing right now we're trying to get the foundation set so that we can get some new shows on our on the Geeky Antics Network. Um, start get some new exclusive contents and blogs on there on, on top of the exclusive shows. Um, you know, setting up the site so that we can have new contributors and, and build a team. Um, we really have a few people on, on board. And once we have that foundation in place and we have all the systems set up, we're going to be doing lots of community events, you know, not just giveaways, you know, not just sweepstakes. We'll do some contests, you know, where we, people could do custom art or music. I mean, all kinds of different things we'll do. And, and even ha try to set up volunteer opportunities for people that have talents. You know, we'll plug you. You know, we don't have obviously we don't have the funds to pay everybody, but we'll plug the heck out of anybody to contribute to our te our team. But if you want, you know, if you want to be part of the team, then you'll be part of something on the ground level. And as we grow, Definitely. you know, this is some really big thing. I'm excited about it. But anyway, right. enough well, enough that, my rambling. And, and that being said, no. What in that being said, right there, we are still looking for um, an artist as well. Um, just uh, somebody that can help. Uh, just, I mean, because if you guys look at the overlay, it's not the best overlay. It's something that uh, we kind of just throw together. I don't really know how to use GIMP, and it's kind of driving me crazy. But if it's, um, <laughs> if we have like a you know a special holiday or something like that, to where uh, somebody that knows how to make overlays with either GIMP or you know Photoshop or something like that, uh, that's something we would do too. I mean, we 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 would like some extra overlays just to have something different every now and then. Um, and then, of course, for the seasons, for the holidays, for the 4th of July, you know, big fireworks in the background or, you know, something like that. Uh, but if you guys know anybody, let them know that we are looking because, uh, uh, you know, because it could, it, it, could, it could help. So, no, yes, you can do custom art. Well, um, it, that, that, that's awesome. I'll get with you after the show if you're uh, still here or I'll uh, actually send you a message on, uh, on uh, Twitch here. So, really appreciate that. Yogi, back to you. <laughs> yeah, I, I we just have a quickie. Well, yeah, before we get into the quickie, the B Team podcast is still going on live. They're trying to compete with us tonight. They usually, oh, man. they usually done at eleven, and they're they're, they're, they're still going on our time slot. I know, but it, what's up with that? I feel like just poke. I, I feel like just jumping into their Skype call and be like, "What's up?" <laughs> we oh my god! Imagine if we merge our shows and the, the chaos that would ensue. Oh god. Like, um, all the callers at once, because they got, like, 
four people in the chat right now. <laughs> oh man. Oh my god. So yeah, quickie. This is a this is a fun this is a fun little quickie. That I I came across this uh I think it was just listening to the Major Nelson podcast. You know, because I'm, I'm also a bit of a, of a Microsoft fanboy. <laughs> and he and and they have this thing, you know. It's uh, the, the theme of this of this quickie is where are you, where are y'all from? And the whole idea is that the New York New York Times, you know, ha, they have this whole thing that they shared of some some research where supposedly where you're from, you know, is is evident in in how you refer to things like uh, your terminology and different mini dialects, regional dialects or whatever. So they have a quiz that you could do on there. So check it out. It's called a dialect dialect quiz uh, map. You can, you should probably find that if you Google that. Uh, or dialect quiz, just New York Times dialect quiz. It should come up on Google or Yahoo, whatever search engine you want to use. But uh, have you taken this, uh, Obi? I haven't. See, I was I, see, I was trying to get you earlier because I wanted you to take it so we can compare our results. I'm sorry, man. But uh, it's 25 questions. 25 questions. Maybe we'll share the results next week. And actually, uh, if you guys take the the, the test, maybe we, you could call in. And Go tell and us, it. link it in uh, Twitch chat. Yeah, let let uh let us know if the results were accurate for you. Here you go, here you go, guys. Yeah, I'll we'll link this in Twitch chat, and this is something for whoever's watching and whoever's listening right now. Okay, we're gonna give you, you know, you guys uh, take this quiz, and what I want you to do is call the voicemail two zero six four one five four nine eight seven, and let us know if it was you know good for you. <laughs> Because it was good for us. Um, let us know if it was good for you and accurate uh, on the voice on the on the voicemail, and then we'll uh, play them next week. Uh, wow, well, I couldn't help it, man. <laughs> I mean, it was good for us. It's, sure. it's always good for us. Did you get yours? <laughs> but yeah, mine was pretty accurate because I've moved around a lot, but I'm still a New Yorker at heart. Um, it was funny though when I when I lived in California f for a little little bit. I was I was there for like a year or two. It wasn't that long of a of about, but people were, didn't pick up my New York accent. I think I started uh, becoming more West Coaster. Like I, I don't know. I, I find like wherever I move to, or wherever I'm around, I pick West up West Coaster. No, not not San Francisco. I was San Diego. None of that. Who hell knew? None of that. Nothing. No offense to anybody, but you know. <laughs> but uh. But yeah, like like uh, I I tend to like be like a social chameleon. Like I pick up a lot of the the regional stuff. But here, people tend to pick up more. Like in, on the West Coast, I, I I adapted a lot easier, and they didn't know I was from the East Coast or from New York. But here, it's like they're like, "You're from up north, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, you're a Yankee, aren't you?" <laughs> it's like, "Yes, sir, I am." It's like I know yeah. how to speak proper English. <laughs> yeah, not y'all, y'all too. Sometimes I say y'all. I say I say y'all sometimes instead of but usually I say you guys. That, that was one of the questions. Like you I, guys. I, like how do you refer to, like yeah yeah use do you say use or you say you guys or do you say y'all or you all? Like how do you refer to a group of people? But the questions change each time you take it. And what it does is shows a heat map of of Dem. Oh yeah, that too. Them. I think that was an option. Yeah, it should have been. Yeah. But uh Well, you can't say them cuz that'd be that'd be third like third person, it, it has to be second person. Like if you're, if you're ta yeah. referring to them, you can't refer to some a group of people and say, "Hey them, how how you them do?" Say them. I said them. Oh, d <laughs> like them guys. You going? You going ghetto on it? <laughs> the chat, the chat, the chat's going crazy. I can't even keep up with it. I'm not gonna look, look anymore. But it's it's cool though. Uh, again, New York Times, check it out. It's a, it's an interactive quiz. It shows a heat map. Of according to each answer and then your overall answers of where you be more, most where you're most likely from or where you most likely would identify. It's a, it serves two purposes. It it helps it helps to see what um, what it try to guess it tries to guess where you're originally from or where you identify with the mm -hmm. best. But it also can help you maybe figure out where you need to move to to really fit in the best. <laughs> You know, so if you're looking to move in somewhere, you know, it might it might work for that. It's pretty spot on, um, but there was some really random ones. Like it, it asked, like, uh, like for one of them, it asked, like, if you uh, uh, a a freight truck carrying cargo, what how do you refer to it? And there's like several answers that I I, I switched between it, and I said, oh, 
uh, I could call it an 18-wheeler or a, 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 a truck, just simp- you know, plain old truck, uh, or um, a tractor trailer. I mean, it's, you know, uh, there's different things you can use depending on what the situation is. And then, so there's lots of times when you go through the test and you're like, well, all of these sound good to me except for that one. So can I choose all? But you know, can I choose all of them except one? And but you're gonna choose one answer. The first and usually you have to go with the first answer. If you want the most accurate result, go with the first answer that comes to mind. So yeah, I think that should be your homework, Obi. Take the test and then we'll compare our notes next week. And you got to make sure that we listen to the voicemails too, because yes. there could be some really funny ones in there. We will play those online. We will play those on the show. If he's going to play mine, and mine was really, really stupid because I was just leaving a voicemail like he said. He didn't say he was going to play it online. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to play mine. We're definitely going to play yours. Yeah, Ugh, I'm, I'm, te- I'm tempted to play the voicemail now. How about you just don't? There's only three of them. Not that many. All right. Play the first voicemail. This is uh, We will uh, get to it. Um, yeah, before we get into our, yeah, before we get into our featured, you know. Yeah, definitely. After the voicemails, we will get into a feature. So, uh, first voicemail, play mine last. Don't play mine first, please. Please. Why? Uh, okay. First voicemail is from. Well, me. actually, I think I actually. Let me see. Let me see. I think I took your yours off the queue. Yes. So you saved. Well, this is this is our geek engage geeks and geeks engage section. So if you wanna chime in real quick right now, this is the best time. And then we'll go on to our feature discussion. But uh, here, let me get the voicemail set up. I only have two to play. I only have two. Oh, I know why I got two years out. I'm playing yours anyway. No. Why not? All right. It'll be, it'll be fun. Hold on. Let me let me cue it up. This is going to drown a whole bunch of more problems for me. Why? Now, if you guys play League of Legends, pay attention to what's going to happen right here. Well, yeah, they're, <laughs> they're, they're going deep on the on the uh, League of Legends chat right now. Uh, uh, Winter Life's talking about uh, learn how to Teemo. Teemo. Learn how to Teemo. Learn how to not Teemo. I'll destroy Teemo. Teemo gets, a lot, of, Teemo gets a lot of hate, but Teemo is a very versatile champion. And, and... He's a very... He falls behind. He's done. And Timo falls off late game anyway. Ah, see, yeah, there's some hard. No one can shut down my Timo completely unless my team is just that terrible. I never feel like I can fall behind and still feel confident. Like I could contribute. All right, we're to gonna one v one. See, you that's no fun. D- dueling, that's I'll different. It's a team game. Well, Stop because, it. Yeah, because you, you okay? Yeah, even okay. We're gonna have a viewer game. Okay. And then the first viewer game between Obi One X Two and Yogi Zilla is gonna be whoever wants to play, but Yogi Zilla and Obi One are up top because we're gonna duel. And let the junglers come. Let the junglers come. You will play your Teemo, and I'll tell you what I'm gonna play. I'll play Zach. Okay. And I'm gonna <laughs> stomp you. First. See, see that's one of the biggest. Man. No, listen, this is one of the biggest problems with MOBAs is that people will treat them as a collection of 1v1 fights. And it's a team. The team aspect is the part that people need to work on the most. And it's no, also. No, no, no. I, just, I just said, no, we're going to do a viewer game where we're going to get on here and we're going to stream it. Okay. Me and you are going to do this. All right. We're going to stream it. We're going to have as many viewers as we can get on the team. So hopefully there's 10 people watching, or at least eight people watching. So we get you take four, I'll take four. And anybody, any position can be taken but the two tops on each team. I'm going top against Yogi. And if you go mid, I will go mid. And then I will really hurt you. Okay. Nothing to say. That's what I'm talking about. But all, um, What was I going to say to that? I'm not going to say anything to that right now. Other, other than I, I think <laughs> he's like, people... Yeah, he's like, you'll see. No, the thing is people... Fi- at like Timo is a one trick thing, you know. Uh, and there's so many different paths to to go with him. Anyway, Tim Curtis t- took the test, and 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 uh, the, he's several hundred miles north. Yeah, he it says he should be from Modesto, California, but he's several hundred miles north. But they got him in, at least on the right coast. And again, you know, if you've moved, the, if you have military background or you've moved around a lot, or you're nomadic. Or you just do a lot of business travel. 
You know, especially in military, it's really hard. I, that's the thing. The toughest thing for military is, for, is to acclimate to a certain area because you move around so much, you never really feel completely anchored down, you know, unless you find a good woman. And Obi's my woman. <laughs> just, just wanted to catch you off guard. Anyway, voicemail time. Here we go. Ready? And let me know if you hear him all right. Here we go. And he did. I uh, I guess the videos one. <laughs> Can't let her hear it. You hear it? It's, it's just Apparently, like... this guy's laughing so hard that he could barely contain himself. Yeah, you hear it though. <laughs> I don't I know hear, what he he's said. Laughing. And uh, I... I put it in my swimming pool. <laughs> He put what? Yes, hello, is this horseplay? The secret club that sends out. Hold on. That last voicemail. What? I, I'm still trying to figure out. I listened to it several times. I don't know what he put in the swimming pool, but that's one of the best voicemails I've got. We got in yet. And we just started doing this. <laughs> all right, all right. Play it again, real quick. Right, everybody listen. I turned it up. So. The first one? All right, I'll turn, yeah. back the, I'll, I'll turn up the volume. Here we go. I, uh. I guess the videos one. <laughs> He's laughing so hard. It's so funny. I think he's high. He's something because he's just fucked up. And, uh, and he says he put it in the pool. I put it in my swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you for your call. He, he's another thank you one. For your call. He, these other two, the other two ones are quick. Yeah, that was a, whoever that was. Thank you for that call. That made for some very good radio. And 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 if you're listening, you're freaking weird. <laughs> and I, we like that though. So if, if you're listening and you can figure out what that is, this, decipher that message. Let us know, because I'm still at a loss. I know what Obi is too. Now here's here's the next one, and I think this one's from Tim Curtis. Yes, hello. Is this horseplay? The secret club that sends out call girls for free? I wish. No? Okay. Hey, guys, it's Tim Curtis here. I'm just calling in to support one of my favorite podcasts, one of the best ones on the internet, horseplay. I uh, love you guys, Yogi and Obi. Uh, keep doing what you're doing, and I think it's really awesome that you got a um, voicemail line now. So I uh, hope to hear some voicemails from our fellow community members, and Keep it up, guys. We really appreciate that, man. That, that's cool. Here's the best one. You ready? Oh, God. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. I'm talking <laughs> to Yogi Zilla. Oh, my God. What's up, gang? Obi and Lennox 2 here. We'll see you guys tonight right on the show. I love you guys. <laughs> I told you we'd see you on the show. And you you held up your promise. That's it for voicemails for now. I hate you. That hey, that was awesome. <laughs> and we haven't gotten any, any new voicemails since then. So oh we did. And that, Holy no, that's crap. not a that's not a voice changer. And I'm gonna actually do it right now because if a lot of people don't really didn't hear it. But if you play League of Legends, you probably know who this is. But I do quite a few voices from there. And this is the one that always just gets people there. Like, what the... He did, he's got a voice changer or nothing. All right. Hands are up. <clears throat> you guys hear me just like this. You want to play? It'll be fun. <laughs> Have you seen my bear tippers? I'm No voice changer, no nothing. Hi. Nope, not at all. <laughs> Yes, I can really do that with my voice. And no, I'm not grabbing my balls or something to make them squeal. <laughs> <laughs> Grab your balls, then cough. We got we. We just well, got another voicemail too, by the way. Well, let's play it. We got one more voicemail here, and then uh, we got an interesting feature for everybody. So yeah, I gotta cue it up on. real quick here. But uh, while while I cue get this ready, what, what's going on over in the chat? <clears throat> Well, T. T Curtis is like, uh, well, he does. He can't sleep, 
And uh, what did he put in the pool? We don't know what he put in the pool. Um, we're kind of scared to know what he put in the pool. And then he yelled, Obi, uh, as I was doing the uh, Annie voice. <laughs> oh, Lord. All I, right. Here I'm we really go. hoping like, he'll call back here later this week and say, well, what I put in the pool was... And start laughing again because it was great. We get we got a floater. That's one of those situations. Wow. Yeah. You ever that, that you ever been in the pool and then it's like it's like parents oh, that bring really young kids into the into a public pool. It's like no, don't do that. That sounds like it's all you, buddy. No, I, I'm swimming I have pools. I have more. Yeah, I know. That's, but I mean, like if you're in a water park or something, you know, you can't avoid uh, it. Yeah. I've seen that, All right, that situation. Last voicemail here. All right, here we go. Here we go. This, this is going to be brand new. I don't even know what it is. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Teach me how to team out. Teach me how to team out. Please. <laughs> oh, and shout out to Dark Creeper. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Bye. All right. We need to teach him how to teamo. Teach me how to teamo. Teach teach me how to teamo. And, and Dark Reaper got a shout out. <laughs> I'm sure that was Dark Reaper himself, probably giving himself a shout out. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly, I don't know. All right, we have done that, guys. Uh, every every week before the feature, we're going to get into our, our voicemail box and, and play some voicemails that you guys have left us throughout the week. Um, be sure to leave them, you know, even if it's just say, hey, what's up, and uh, say hi to everybody on the show. But as of right now, we're going to come up on our feature, um, and I'm um, going to play a little bit of a, a, a little bit of a break, uh, about 30 seconds or so. But uh, right back with The Secrets of 13. Dabbling in the supernatural conspiracies and espionage. Is it all connected? We will be right back. And coming back in, the feature said to you guys before this little uh, little break, Secrets of 13, dabbling in the supernatural conspiracies and espionage. Is everything like that connected? We don't know. Let's talk about it. We do have uh, a couple of shows that I watch, um, that Yogi watches. I think we both watch almost the same thing, except for I think one or two here. <laughs> um, I think I know which ones so, those are. Uh, we both watched Burn Notice. If you guys uh, know that show, it's uh, of course about of a, a spy that got kind of blacklisted, and um, we'll get into that here in a minute. Um, Agents of Shield. I don't know if you guys have ever watched it. It's Marvel. Uh, Agents of Shield. It's kind of like uh, getting into the guy with super strength, the the computer chick, the the, and it's not uh, not your superhero um it is a superhero show i guess you could say but it's not your typical superhero show um it's just a group of people that uh you guys would have to watch it i can't even explain it we'll talk a little bit more about that here in a minute supernatural and of course are the uh, the best zombie show of course the walking dead ogie we're gonna start off with the walking dead no, no, that's the last one. But that's that's some of the the collections that we like. Um, the some of our, our our key shows that we really like to talk about. Now, yeah, you know, I think this is like uh, for me, like I don't know about you, but the shows that 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 appeal to me the most, like I don't I don't watch too much TV. But when I do, I I like a little bit of supernatural element, fantasy, sci-fi. I like conspiracy theories, like, you know, underground society, spies, stuff like that. 
And all these shows have all or some of those elements, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not, like, I'm not into, like, sitcoms or anything like that. Right. And then there's one, and there's one actually on here that that's not on here that I know I'm going to get picked on for this. But um, my wife actually got me watching it, and I'm sure you could probably guess what it is. Um, but it's Vampire Diaries. Oh, yeah, and they, and they got the spinoff for that, the originals. Uh, the originals, which is the originals from the Vampire Diaries. they got to show with them now. Um, I watched yeah, that casually, but there's, there's, how many seasons are, there, are they in, on that? I don't even know, man. Uh, yeah. I stopped watching it after the second season. Uh, I liked the, uh, you know, Klaus and, and, and some of the, uh, some of, uh, like, his brother and some of the other originals. So I'm going to start watching the naturals here, uh, um, but, uh, or the originals. But, uh, I mean, then that's... See, it's made me think about another uh, one. Go ahead. Well, you know, in, in terms of vampire shows, and there's, there's a bunch of them, really, if you think about it, as it's been in, over the years. Mm-hmm. But I think, like, True Blood is the better vampire short show when compared to the... My wife sucked me into that one, too. Yeah, that one's, that one's good. Because Vampire, vampire Diaries is... Boobies. Yes, can't beat that. Uh, Rogue from the X-Men, the girl that plays mm-hmm. Rogue. <laughs> but you know, uh, Vampire Diaries to me it feels like it's more geared towards an audience, like a female audience. Whereas True Blood has something for everybody. I feel you know, right? Uh, and it's it's a little more interesting uh, plot lines. But again, like I, I've missed so much of Vampire Diaries, I don't feel like going all the way back to the beginning. So I just watch it here and there with my better half. But I'm surprised you haven't seen the. Uh, you know, Fringe, Warehouse 13, or or Sherlock, even. I don't really watch a lot of TV. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't either. My wife's got to my wife's got to tackle me sometimes so that we can watch our our weekly shows. Like we watch Nashville and the NCIS, NCIS LA, uh, that we watch together. You know, so it's something that we do together. Um, and she's got to damn near nail me to the chair. You know, it's for me to hey, sit down. We're watching this right now. <laughs> but. Uh, you know- See, the, the crime shows, they're like a dime a dozen. But mm. if I have to choose one, I would say N- NCIS just because it has Abby. Gibbs. Gibbs is the man. Oh, yeah, and Gibbs, too, with the little the Gibbs smack in the back of the head. But Abby, come on, Abby's a cutie. And she looks like she's like 30, but she's like 50-something. Abby's not that old, dude. Yeah, dude, I'm serious. She's in the late 40s, early 50s, I swear. And But no she looks way. like she's a 30-something, I swear. There's that, no way. I dude. read it somewhere. Credible. And you read some lies. No, no I'm way. telling you. And, and and my better half, she confirmed this. She's into that whole thing. So she knows. She's the one that knows the actors and actresses by name. I'm I'm not that guy. I'm freaking looking it up then. You look it up, but I'm a, I'm gonna talk about some of these shows. But by yeah. the way, we'll talk about Ages of Shield because there's been a couple of new episodes that came out, and we could talk about that. And and also, on, uh, I'm gonna be on the Agents of Shield cast. Next week with uh, Chip Sella and um, Andy Urquhart, Urquhart from uh, Forty Two Level One, and I think he also does Starling City, Starling Starling City Radio. I believe he's on that show too, which is dedicated to the Arrow show, you know, DC Universe. Well, Agents of Shield and Marvel Universe. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna be, I'm gonna be on that show next week, and I'll be airing next Friday on uh, All Games. But uh. We'll talk about Agent of Shield in a little second here. I've been really on. A, I've been on a supernatural kick, and that show's gonna. It's going strong still. They already been renewed for a, a season ten. I don't know when it's shooting, but they had a, the season nine was short. Um, and, a lot, and a lot of people kind of say that it's a, it's a very shallow uh, plot, but it's fun. And my favorite actor on that show is Misha Collins, that plays uh, the angel Castiel. He's mm. just such an awesome character. He's a lo- lovable g- character. He's and he's just he kicks ass. But like, uh, he so he just shows such a broad range of emotion, and he does it so well. He plays the the roles he's given on the show so well. And, he uh, does. He's. Have you seen Have you seen Supernatural? Um, I started to watch it a little bit, um, and I just never got into it because I had a whole bunch more shows. Um, it's something that I've been looking at uh, actually Netflix lately. Um, just because I wanted to watch another, uh, uh, basically a vampire movie or yeah. a show, so it's um, rough. It's rough because it's like Buffy, the Vampire Slayer, where like there's so many seasons, and if you join it late, there's so much to catch up on. 
But right. the good thing about it is with Supernatural, even though are, there are, like, overarching stories, you know, story arcs that, you know, could see, they have underlying themes and whatnot, it's very episodic. You, you can skip around a little bit and it'll be too bad. And I noticed right. what they tend to do, in every season, they usually have the first three episodes and the last three episodes. You could watch those to get the full closure because they recap everything so well. And they mm -hmm. tend to really finish the main storyline of any season in the last few episodes. You know, sometimes they just rush it in, like, the last one or two episodes. It's like, boom, done, resolved. And on right. to the next thing. And I'm probably going to get my man card pulled for this, okay? I'm really banking on it. But I wish they would actually make a uh, something, a, a show that had, you know, of course, the vampires. But then, and here we go, uh, like, you know, the movie Twilight, where they had the, 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 the werewolves, too. Or the uh, you know the wolves too, with the the clan. I wish yep. they'd actually make a show like that, to where it's not just the movies, but it's an actual episodic, you know, type. Uh, it's like it's like Twilight basically, just but in show format, I guess. Yeah, or, or... because that'd be supernatural, and I like werewolves and vampires and all that other shit too. But, yeah. You know, and like I said, if I get my man card pulled, I totally understand right now. Um, but I like Twilight movies. They're they're pretty interesting because of all the action scenes. I tend to fast forward. I get yelled at all the, the sappy time parts. <laughs> when me and my wife are watching it, and we're just sitting there, and she's kind of half asleep, and I'll start fast forwarding through all the all the bullshit to <laughs> see like you know to see him you know jump in the air and turn into a freaking werewolf. That's awesome to me, uh, you know. But stuff like that, and then she wakes up and says, "What are you doing? Rewind it." So then I gotta watch it all <laughs> over again, you know. It's okay though. But yeah. See, I think I think what they should do is have a TV show where it's like the the monster side of the story, like how do they cope with the day to day stuff, kind of mm -hmm. like being human did, but maybe on a greater scale, talk about all the underground societies and how they keep hidden and how they deal with like rogue monsters, you know, some rogue supernaturals, you know, to keep themselves hidden because in almost all these stories, you know, the supernatural beings. They're very they're they're a dying breed, and you know for them to coexist, they have to live hidden. True Blood is one of the few shows that breaks that. You know, everybody's actually fully aware of vampires and other creatures. Well, just vampires existing, but people start to suspect other kind of super beings, uh, other superhuman beings out there. Um, mm. But uh, you know, it'd be cool to see the other side of it. Like, how do the those those creatures you know survive day to day? Um, like, how does a vampire, you know, try to blend in and not, not get caught, found out, or whatever? Right. Well, with True Blood, though, they actually had, like, a fail-safe with the uh, with the Revein that everybody had to drink. So, like, everybody in that town. Or is that... That's not True Blood. That was uh, actually Vampire Diaries, I think. Everybody actually drank Revein, which was, like, a vampire repellent, basically. But I think that was in Vampire Diaries. Never yeah, mind. I think that was Vampire Diaries. In True Blood, they had the... the the um, synthetic blood that they were produce they were manufacturing, so that the vampires wouldn't feed on humans and the human and the vampire the vampires just came out and said, "Hey, we we're here. We exist. We've existed for you know eons or centuries, whatever. Mm -hmm. And we're 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 cool peeps, yo. Just get to know us. <laughs> you know, so we that'll kill cool. you if you don't mess with us first. But uh, that's the supernatural stuff now." And we, and that, that, you know, I, I've kind of loaded up this, 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 uh, this whole um, feature here. We could talk about the supernatural stuff a lot, but I think another aspect that's neat, and it's more the what Agents of Shield, uh, you know, gets into. I mean, they have the supernatural aspect in Agents of Shield. It's the best of both worlds because they have the spies, the espionage. You know, they got the the more realistic stuff, and then they got the supernatural elements. But, uh, you know, Burn Notice, I'm, I'm sad to see the show go, but I guess it had to go before it ran out of steam. But that was a great show, man. It was just how, uh, you know, just had the, the, the things that they have on there. But I'm surprised that if you, since you like Burn Notice, you mm -hmm. haven't gotten into White Collar. Like, White Collar has got delved into, like, all the conspiracy theories and underground society. Like, they get into the number 13 and, like, you know the, the the Freemasons and how like the number thirteen and the number thirty three are the most sacred numbers. Um, I even have a little 
link there on it's forbiddenknowledge.com. It has something about uh, Freemasons and number 13 and 33. And they, they in White Collar, they incorporate a lot of that, that, that lore in there about how these, all, these, all these underground societies, like the first spies, the Culpers, George Washington's uh, spies. Uh, am I boring you, Obi? What show is that? No, I can't remember that show I was talking about earlier. Oh, oh. never mind. Uh, oh, another one to, that you're trying another to think. One, yeah, that, another one that I've been watching actually, which is something about with white collar and the um, uh, the uh, dang it. The, oh, super, supernatural stuff. No. Sleepy uh, Hollow. No. Yeah, Sleepy Hollow. The Freemasons, but uh, another with. The oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they talk um, about that. Yep. That's on, their tie-in. Uh, so um, if you guys actually are interested in a lot of the Freemason stuff, which if you guys like a show like that, uh, Sleepy Hollow. Uh, it's basically, um, if you guys know the story of Sleepy Hollow, Hollow and Ichabod Crane, and, you know, where, you know, the cartoon that everybody knows more about is, you know, you know they, he takes care of the Headless Horseman, but he disappears, basically. Um, this is kind of showing a little bit of light of what happened. Uh, in 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 basically the producer's eyes of the show, but basically uh, Ichabod and the headless horseman, which was the horseman of death, uh, in 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 Sleepy Hollow. I don't want to ruin this for anybody, so I'm only going to give you a little bit of it. If you guys want to watch this, is it is a great show. It is coming back. Um, it is. I think it's a summer, a summer series, if I'm not mistaken. I think so because me and my wife have been waiting on it for comeback. I'm but not sure. I'm, I'm catching like uh, like the recordings mm -hmm. of it, the reruns, so to speak. Right. Well, it's, it's if you guys know about that, um, where uh, it's Ichabod Crane, and they were back in with George Washington. Uh, Ichabod was one of his, one of his, uh, basically his one of his guys, one of his, I don't know, one of his uh, officers. I don't know if he was one of his officers, but he was one of his right hands, and basically. Uh, you know, George Washington had a huge, uh, not a conspiracy, but a huge, uh, uh, what is it called? Something that's put on, you know, put on your back. Basically, you have a huge burden to keep, you know, the world safe from from evil or from the devil or whatever. Uh, but it's a really good show. I'm not going to get too much into it because I'm going to throw myself off and throw my tra own train of thought off. <laughs> but we'll get in that. But if you guys want to watch that, Sleepy Hollow is a really good one. Yeah, good good call on it. I you know now I'm like, damn you, that's another show I gotta get into. But I'm glad it's only a season in, so not too much to catch up on. But I watched right. the pilot, the pilot, and the second episode. Well, yeah, yeah, the pilot. So episode one and two, um, and 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 just from the beginning, it, it hooks you in. I was surprised. Uh, the my wife didn't didn't like it. She said it was it was kind of stupid, and, and I was surprised. It was, I thought it would be right up her well, alley, hey, but I gave no. it a chance. I liked it. Tell her, tell her, the first six episodes of Sleepy Hollow is boring as frick. Yeah, because it seems like it's it, boring. It's like she has to get past that, because if she gets past that, dude, she's going to love it. What's the thing? Uh, I think if you op come into it with an open mind, you see the potential with it, because the way they combine all the, all the different lore, like, see, like, a white collar takes a more, you know, very, like, down-to-earth look at the Freemasons, but in, in Sleepy Hollow, they combine more supernatural elements, and it's like the, the Freemasons... Mm -hmm fought the devil and they prevented the apocalypse and they were trying to fight the four horsemen the coming of the four horsemen and all this stuff and it's like well that's some deep stuff and it, it and at first you're like that's a, they're really, that's a really big stretch but it's cool the way they like merge that all together and like i i, I don't know i, I was were hooked you, right off right off the first show right off the first, first episode I, right, I, I like and, you can going. Actually, and you can actually watch it and kind of think about maybe this day this is kind of could be kind of true the way they actually portray it and actually tell the story, um, it's it's like I said, it's a really good watch uh, if you can. I mean, it's not. I think we're only through third season, second season. We just no. ended the second season. Yeah. Oh, did it, did it start yet though? Hmm. Did the second season start yet? I think we're starting on. No, it is just the second season. So there's only one season to catch up with. You guys can get yeah. all that if you go to what is it? Uh, what channel is it on? Is it TNT? I thought that was uh. Or is it, was, it, was it one of the local channels? I thought it was an ABC show. Was it ABC? Sworn. Well, if it is ABC, Could've CBS, sworn. any of the local channels that you guys use, that everybody usually gets, you can go to ABC.com and get all the, and watch all the last season. For yeah, I'm pretty sure it's an ABC show. I'm pretty sure it's an ABC show because so. that's also where Grimm is on. 
right? Yeah, yeah okay, that is ABC then. So yeah. ABC.com, you guys can go check that out. Sleepy Hollow, watch it from start to the end of the first season. The second season starting here in a couple months, or at least another month. So uh, you guys won't be missing out much. Yeah. I'd also like, you know, we won't have enough, obviously we won't have enough time to talk about all these shows, but I, I definitely mm-hmm. recommend Fringe, Warehouse 13, uh, and I already mentioned Sherlock and Doctor Who. I will, that's one of my recurring ones. But Warehouse 13 is one that I would also say um, is worth looking at. If you, if you like Eureka or if you've ever seen Alphas, unfortunately, mm-hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to warn you, this, re- this recommendation comes with a uh, prefix. It, these are spy, um, sci-fi shows and you know lately they've been doing some weird stuff like they've been canceling their good shows and then leaving other trying to put in some other crap shows like supposedly they're trying to push for more reality reality television like ghost paranormal type shows and it's like ugh, please stop it we have enough reality stuff in other channels but uh so you know warehouse 13 eureka and alphas all take place in the same universe alphas only made it up to season two and then it was supposed to do a season three well, with like six episodes and then they canceled. They canned that. Um, Eureka had a good run, like five or six uh, seasons. But that's more on the comedy side. Um, but it's still, it's more lighthearted, but it's a lot more. It's, it's, it's fun. But Warehouse 13 is cool because what, what that focuses on more. It's like if you like Indiana Jones where it's like finding artifacts and uh, they have special uh, powers, stuff like that. It, it explains how a lot of the supernatural stuff, you know, it ties a lot of those things to to artifacts that that make those things happen and and how those things became artifacts. So I really like Warehouse Thirteen. Mm-hmm. It has a really good cast of characters. Um, out of those three, I definitely would say Warehouse Thirteen is the one to check out. Eureka is great too. I love Eureka. Uh, they have some good characters there too. But Eureka focuses more. It's Eureka is more of the story of a of a town of like geniuses. And it's more about the technology. It's more sci-fi than anything else. Warehouse 13 is more, a little more fantasy. But it's cool because they cross over. So if you watch both of them side by side, Eureka and Warehouse 13 cross over with each other. Um, Alphas didn't really get the opportunity to do that, but they do supposedly exist in the same universe. So it's a whole it's, it's a whole universe to, to explore. And at Warehouse 13 now, they're going into Season 6. It's going to be a short season, I, I, I believe, and that's going to be the end of it. So if you're into marathon runs, at, at least you know there's an end point. So it's you know you can watch it at your leisure, uh, <laughs> and know that it's gonna come to an end, and it, it, I think it's gonna come to a good closing. They they're gonna allow it to die in a decent manner with honor. <laughs> well, and that's a lot of things that some of these the networks do to these some of these really really good shows. They just they just it's done and then just blow it off like it's it was never here, like it's not you know. That's not, you know, while those shows were actually online, it's not some of the most views they've had, you know, since, you know, for years. But they still want to delete them or still want to get rid of them because uh, they want to make way for somebody else paid them just a little bit more money, I guess. Yeah. How it goes. Yeah, and I mean, it's it's a bidding process and it's all kind of, like, bureaucratical crap there, I'm, I'm sure, but... Yeah, it's a shame. It's always the good ones that go. Like I was a big fan of uh, Firefly, and you know we know what what Fox did with that show. Yeah, I don't even and, want to talk uh, about that show too. Well, yeah, and the thing about it is that they they weren't careful about uh mm-hmm. of, about the, how they drew up the contract, and they made it so that Josh Whedon could not shop the show around on another another network. It was locked into Fox, so Fox killed it, and and he couldn't put it in any other network. So that wasn't even an option. Usually, shows have hope. If there's enough fanfare, they go on another mm-hmm. network, you know, they'll pick up the show. Yeah, and especially a show, a, a network that doesn't have good programming, you know, and it could use some other variety. But nope. I mean, that's why I, Stargate, Stargate SG-1, one of my favorite shows of all time, had 10 seasons, you know. And Fox originally killed that show, and Sci-Fi picked it up. And that was a good move on their part. And, uh, yeah, what can you do? Hey, there's nothing you can do, really. I mean, once they're done, they're done. You just hope to God that the network's bringing up something that else that actually is worth a damn. Yeah. Well, suppose, you know, there might be hope because, I mean, um, Fox is bringing back 24. You know, they're continuing that, that series. Yeah, but I never really got into that. I mean, it was just something that, you know, I don't think my wife even got into that. You know. I think my father and all did, but that's. He watches crazy shit. Jack Bauer is a fun character. He's kind of exaggerated because he just does mm. insane stuff. But it's really intense, you know, watching the story unfold hour by hour. 
Uh, there's obviously, you know, each hour there's going to be some filler in between there. What they're doing now is they're going to change it so there's less filler. Instead of doing, you know, each episode is one hour in a 24-hour period. They're going to make it so there's 12 episodes and they skip around through the, uh, the two hours. So instead of just highlighting the full hour, it's going to be like two hours and it's just the, the big key points in each thing. So there's going to be less filler. So it should be interesting doing that format. You know, we'll see if, if 24 can still get the ratings he's used to. They're also bringing back Heroes. And supposedly that he, the new hero is going to be... Yes! Did you hear about that? Supp I love that show, man. It's, see, that show fell flat at the end. Like, so much of the last season is a blur to me. Well, it's because they planned on, actually, they already had set up for another season. And then the show cut them, the, the, the network cut them. And now they're actually they're actually bringing them back because they said it wasn't enough views, but they were looking at wrong numbers or some BS crap that they've had to do, and now they're actually getting it all back. Supposedly I, I they're reboot they're, they're rebooting it though, like they're starting from the beginning. Yeah, they're actually starting with different characters, which is if it's not any good, and I'll know after the first first show, the pilot, or even episode one, I'm not gonna watch it if it's not good. See, they're going to have to do really good casting because a lot of the guys that are uh, were part of that show, they moved on to other things. Yeah, um, I know. And that's good. They waited so long that it just it screwed everything up. So now 90, 95% of the cast didn't want to do it because or did, couldn't do it because they were already locked into other contracts, which that's basically, you know, the freaking network's fault. It's just how it is. I'll be happy when it comes back to see what it actually – either has involved to or went to shit to. How's that? <laughs> we'll have to keep track of, of that because the casting is going to be the big thing. You know, because uh, they had a lot of really good players like, um, I forget what, Claire was it? The Hayden Panettiere uh, character, the cheerleader. Her and her dad were awesome. And I've seen him, uh, her dad, the guy that played her dad on other shows. Uh, what show was the last one I saw him? I think it was on Burn Notice he was on. Yeah, yeah. Bur on Burn Notice, he was uh, the uh, was it Burn Notice or White Collar? Now I'm not. I'm like, dude, everything's a blur. But I know he was one on one of those show as like a FBI agent or something. Um, oh, you talking about was it wasn't Sam? No, it's not. Um, it was the guy mm -hmm. that used to that wear like the, the Sam the, the glasses. Uh, oh no, that wasn't that was Burnout. That wasn't. Was it burn note? Was it burn notice? He was on. I'm trying to remember. Said I straight up said burnout. Uh, no, that wasn't burn notice. It was the other show. I can't remember. I know who the ones are for burn notice. Uh, there's Sam. Um, well, yeah, Sam. Uh, yeah, Sam Max. Everybody loves him. That's Bruce Campbell. That's my boy. Yeah, but that's he. It's it was basically his same part, but the other one had glasses. It's a different show. Don't ask me no more. I'm done. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, they, they had a good really cast on that know. show. <laughs> the, the guy, the guy that played, uh, was it Peter? Was Pe oh no, the younger brother. Peter was the one that was the politician. It's all coming back to me. The one, but the one that had the ability to absorb other people's powers on heroes. He, Milo is the, the actor's name. Milo something. Oh, the bad guy at first. No, you're thinking about uh, the guy that played Silar. I'm talking about the younger brother of the politician. He's he's doing another like series. He's been on a few things, but he's he's doing like a, another series. That's yeah, uh, the Netflix the series, ultimate uh, he's series. The one. Yeah, he's the one that can jump up and fly. No wait, the politician. No crackle Europe. series. Yeah, the crap. You know, the, the, the mother, the politician who is their son, and then the younger son who's kind of like the one the mother didn't love as much. You know? Yeah, but the politician has he can fly. Yeah, but the, his younger brother had the ability to absorb powers. Remember, Siler went after him, was trying to go after him to get to absorb oh, his yeah, power. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he saved his brother several times from taking and being able to fly. Yeah, I remember mm -hmm. now. But he, well, that yeah. guy, that that actor, Milo, has a, a short series, uh, a mini series on Crackle. It's one of the Crackle original series called Chosen. It's pretty good, too. Um nice. So this this is cool, like, uh, and a lot of these shows, you know, that do deal whether they deal with the supernatural conspiracy espionage, they mention like a lot of stuff about underground societies, Illuminati, Freemasons, you know, how the number thirteen is sacred, and and they work that in the lore, like number thirteen is sacred, so they don't. That's why they don't make buildings with the the thirteenth floor, or a lot, some books do not have a thirteenth chapter. You know, they do all this kind of stuff, like ah, oh. and it's cool to see, like, even though these shows, a lot of these shows are distinctly different. 
mm-hmm. you know, in the subject matter. It all they, ties into it. Yeah, right? like, so, it, you know, it makes you wonder, like, you know, maybe there's some truth to this stuff, you know? Like, Big Brother and all that stuff. <laughs> well, and, too, and this is a, a game reference, but the Illuminati was actually in the um, Assassin's Creed 4, too, Black Flags. Yeah. They but, played a huge part in it, too. You know, I, I have to catch up with that series. I got... Um, I I got Revelations mostly done, and I got Assassin's Creed three. But I've, I'm told that one is like the worst of the series. But it also opens up the new era where like the with all the pirates and stuff. So I'm kind of curious about it. But I've heard a lot of good things about Black Flag. I just don't feel like I should jump right into it without playing the other ones. Right. So, but yeah, the, yeah, Assassin's Creed. As far as games go, man, Assassin's Creed is all about talking about. You know, giving a different spin on history. People that we thought were heroes were actually bad guys. All these underground societies, the Templars, the Illuminati, you know, the Assassins, the Assassin Order. I mean, all that stuff. They, they, their lore is amazing. And see, that's what that's another reason I love Stargate because Stargate used to take all this different lore and and then from different kind of uh, subject matter and then make their own, they created their own mythos like they talked about the Egyptians who they really were who the gods really were and how the gods weren't really gods they were using technology that was way ahead of us alien technology and they made themselves seem like they were gods and you know I love like all these shows that take wow. different have different takes on all this stuff man it was like well, we talk about it forever man and in the in the assassins order you know the uh, the the the, the I don't remember what it was called exactly in the Assassin's Creed. Uh, the Assassin's Order is actually another part that flakes, flakes, uh, branches off into the, the show Arrow, um, where, uh, what's her name? Um, do you watch Arrow? I do, dude. Uh, is, it, the, is it worth... Is it, the, is it, sister, the sister that actually went on the boat with him in the beginning... She actually joined that assassins guild that that you know uh, they're the world's you know finest assassins and that's part of the assassins creed you know it kind of mixes in a little bit there too but hmm. um, not all the way um, because they don't never talk about you know Illuminati or anything like that in the show but I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't go that way so at, at one point well dude um, I might have to give that show another try that's one of the shows like I'm not big on the, mm-hmm. I'm more of a Marvel guy than DC. Mm-hmm. But, like, I, I started trying to get into that. The only thing I didn't like is that they show way too much of, like, shirtless Quinn. It's, like, it's half of it is, like, him doing push-ups and doing an exercise shirtless. It's, like, come on. All right. We get it. We get, you well, got that yeah, for the girls. Dude, later in the show, you're going to see some almost shirtless uh, um, Laurel. <laughs> well, dude, is it, is it me or, like, the first few episodes of that? You said that with Sleepy Hollow, it starts off slow, the first five or six episodes. Is that the same Sleep- thing with Arrow? Arrow is probably like episode, you know, one and two or so. It's kind of setting up for what's going to happen because of everything that's going on because he was lost at a, in, on an island for like five yeah. years. So it's everything that's setting up. And then they do flashbacks of when they went off into the ship and and how, uh, what was his, her name, Jennifer or Jen? or No, what was her name? No clue, dude. I don't know. It was Laurel and then her sister. Her sister actually snuck out to meet him at the gambit which is you know their family yacht and then the yacht went down because they were had a conspiracy his mom had a conspiracy to kill his dad so and then they he was with them and she didn't know so then you know dad and son went down and the daughter went down so it was it gets huh. good dude trust me if you so maybe it, maybe i'll watch it uh, uh, you know and and skip the the second episode because I started watching the second episode. I'm like, this is kind of dragging on. Um, and I know they was trying to, like I don't mind exposition, but it was like so slow. Like I was like, there was so so many other things to watch. It's like ah, I need some instant gratification. It was like ah, oh, please. <laughs> right, and like I said, it it in in most shows nowadays that I've seen the new guys new new shows that are actually coming out, they actually start off really slow. Like, there's no, I mean, I guess if you think about a pilot show or an episode one or two, they're kind of still setting up for what's going to happen uh, to make even the, if it's a three or four or five season show. So, I mean, they're kind of setting it up for everything. But, yeah, dude, it does get good. But, see, this that's exactly why I appreciate Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Because, you know, they realized they, they, they made a tough call. They said, let's take a break from this show and, and break up the season 
and so we can make sure we do it right. Because most shows would have just come up with filler episodes to throw in there, mm-hmm. and they said, "Hey, we want to make make sure everything every episode counts." And it's and it's a tough call because you might lose some of your audience, the people that already love the show. They might right. lose interest and get drawn to something else. But I think that it's great the way they did it there. And so yeah, let's talk real quick. What do you think about those uh, last couple of episodes? Finally introducing some real Marvel Universe um, assets, you know, and, and tying in like you know the Asgardian. <sighs> stuff I, that started yeah, getting interesting i i did see that when it yeah at the end of that um i can't wait man I, I really can't wait i'm sorry guys i'm tired um but uh i i really can't wait for it to start just because uh with everything that happened and how it ended uh on that you know abrupt ending where they just canceled everything I, I, what's gonna happen next now i mean really truthfully heroes i gotta go back and watch it because I forgot. Well, they're gonna <laughs> just, they're gonna re, they, they're gonna reboot Heroes completely, supposedly. Right. Well, I still want to go watch it just to kind of get it in my head, kind of you know, just to see the differences between the old one and then the newer one that's coming out. So we're, we're talking excited. about we're talking about Marvel's Agents of Shield, though. You 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 just jumping around. No. The la- I'm talking about the last two episodes, uh, Tahiti. Oh, I thought we were still talking about. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, you are anyway. tired. But yeah, last I, episode was you know the last episode was like Tahiti, and I forgot the other one. But where you know, Tahiti just, really doesn't exist, and he found out. Yeah. Yeah, like and and then like uh, we find out that you know spoiler alert. And now you know, pissed. Agent May isn't really on the up and up. We we're finding out who her real loyalties are to. We're finding out that's a huge Shield cover up. You know, they they introduced the Deathlock, but they brought in some as guardians. You know, they had uh, what's the name, N- Nilf. And um, Nif, I forget her name. Sylph, Sylph. Yeah. And uh, Lorelai, uh, the Enchantress's sister. You but know. One thing. The funny thing is, is what is? Do you remember what the cover up is as a whole? Well, the the, the fact that that the 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 GH uh, two twenty five or two thirty five, whatever it was, is actually something that they extracted from an alien. Yeah, and they're actually when somebody dies, they actually bring them back to life. Yeah, uh, and saying, you know, you were in Tahiti, you were on a vacation, you know, or this, this, and they just brainwash them. Yeah, that one I can't wait either. I'm talking about like eight different shows right now. But yes, Agents of <laughs> Shield, I cannot wait for the new season to start. Okay, I'm back on track, Yogi. I think. So yeah, well, so I don't, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what to do with that. I think they're gonna they have the, they have had a two episodes back to back, and they might take another little break. I hope they don't. Because from uh, from what I was reading, sorry, I'm cutting you off. But from what I was reading, they're actually going to be doing two, no, three episodes, and then there's something that one of the I think one of the cast or a couple of the cast have to go somewhere for something major. So they're just taking like a two, I think a two week break. And then they're gonna actually getting back to it, but they've already recorded the first two or three shows already. So, well, and then the other thing that's cool too is that they're talking about there's gonna be cameos from you know because all of the, the Marvel Agents of Shield takes place in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so they tie into the movies, and it's all you know this all continuity throughout it, throughout the whole thing. So they're gonna have, probably have cameos. Already, they already had you know Samuel L. Jackson. As Nick Fury on the show, and I thought that was cool. I'm waiting so, for Thor to come down. <clears throat> you I'm know serious. what? I have a feeling he won't show. I can see maybe Loki. Maybe Loki. Nah. I'm thinking Thor's gonna come help him. He's too big of a of a villain, and I think they already done Loki too much. Well, maybe, I think you know... they're gonna. I really think they're gonna do Thor, uh, or have Thor come down because this is one thing that I'm saying. Um, one of the other you know, somebody like Loki that's, you know, disturbing and basically Thor's gonna have to come down to stop him, basically, because nobody else can. You know what I'm saying? It's just a little teamwork and then he takes off. It's just like maybe one or maybe at the most two episodes that he would even appear in. Well and then he's like, Okay, we have you guys will ever forever be allied. I know you I can trust you, blah 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 and then he leaves. You know, I have a I have a theory about before we move on, because we could probably talk about this a lot. But I have a theory about the clairvoyant. I have a feeling that okay, I, guys, we're still on our 
I, you know, more again, more conspiracy theories here, but either the clairvoyant is has the um, is the clairvoyant maybe is not gifted and she just has a lot of spies and she has bugs everywhere, I you think know. The clairvoyant is May. <laughs> I think the clairvoyant may be connected to May. That's one That's of my who theories. I think the clairvoyant is is May. Now or the other like May's, May's boss or something. And that um. And it have to, because you have to think about it. They, for some reason, she cannot uh, get a read on Agent Coulson because of the fact that he had the GH whatever three twenty five in him. And mm -hmm. I think that's Alien Origin. I think it's like a Cree. Uh, they descended from a Cree or some other, because uh, the different alien races are blue. But we won't, won't get into that. But it could be Cree origin, some other alien race, and maybe that's something beyond the clairvoyant's uh, power. Maybe the clairvoyant could also be a, a bad, a bad person from Asgard, another bad person, you know? Because like I said they sent Loki. Laura. Yeah, may, maybe. Then they, then they send his brother to stop him, and that's just that's just how it is. He makes appearances in every freaking movie lately, man. What do you say he's not going to make an appearance in this show? Really? Yeah, yeah. Think about it. It only makes sense, but they're probably not going to do it because it makes sense. Yeah, so I don't know. But I think it's as, it could be a, the, the Kavoyan could be as Guardian. That'd be interesting for them to do that. It would be kind of cool, but else. it's probably not going to happen. They probably, they've had this stuff all, all done up for a long time now. So, I mean, it, they're, keeping, they're, keeping us, they're doing good in keeping us guessing, actually, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, and I think also a big part of this show is that it's gonna. They already said that they're gonna set up some movies, some new movies, new franchise, and everything. Uh, whether it's the Netflix movies that they're gonna have, or actual like you know, silver screen releases, you know, because um, mm -hmm. they were talking about doing the Hell's Kitchen series with Daredevil and um, Elektra and all those type people as a, as, a, as a series or a movie. Series right. on uh, on um, Netflix, um, and I'm, in, I'm I'm curious how they'll like combine, you know, all those different worlds, you know. But they were supposed to do a a second uh, uh, Daredevil two where Elektra and him were actually teaming up because you know at the end they fought and then they found out who each other was and then she's kind of like I can't do it, you know. They were supposed to do something with a. Uh, Daredevil come, you know, he's still around, and then she comes back finally and actually helps him, but they never did that either, so. Yeah. It's, it's just another Marvel, you know. They have so many options right now for anything Marvel that they want to make because there's so many Marvel comics. They can come out with anything. Yeah. I wasn't a fan of Ben Affleck as Daredevil. Uh, unless... Uh, well, except for when he was in the suit, and it was pretty cool, but that was probably one of my least favorite movies that and Electra they, it was they were cool but they're forgettable right okay and I'm gonna say something right here Yogi you can even do it too you can call in everybody this is the question for this one because I really and I'm I don't say this often you know I don't I want to come back to this next week and just do a second part to this because we're gonna talk very a long time over this we can talk about this it's almost time, <laughs> so it's. I want to come back to this again. So what I want to do, and if that's all right with you, Yogi, we'll uh, talk about it some more. But right here for those that are listening, and those that are watching live, of course. Next week for the show, I want you guys to call in and leave a voicemail, okay? And I want you to call in and tell us who you think. Man, Yogi, what were we talking about? I lost it. We think the clairvoyant is. No, the what we were just talking about. Who's gonna make a cameo on uh, Agents of Shield? Hmm. No, I lost it. Or who's gonna be the next Daredevil? <gasps> yeah, thank you. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> wow. If we talked about you, a lot of stuff. <laughs> I, dude, I, pff, my brain's fried right now, um, just from all the thinking I've had to do today and yesterday for next show. This is what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to think, and if they do make another Daredevil, don't be looking it online. Don't be looking, because I don't think they have anything on it yet. Um, but if they do make another Daredevil, who do you think will be Daredevil? Will it be a Ben Affleck, or will it be somebody else? Leave us a voicemail, 206-415-4987. 206-415-4987. 
Yogi, I know we have some dust off to do. I don't know where I a little, it, a little bit. But I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this. I, I think what I'm at, if we're gonna talk full on Marvel Cinematic Universe, I'm gonna have to catch up with the comics to have a little more back story because I'm so behind on the comics. I got a week. Yo, that's barely enough time. I gotta, I gotta do it too, man. I gotta watch all my show. I, I don't have any comics anymore, um, but I gotta watch all my shows and get caught up too. You gotta well, uh, I'm gonna plug this for you and uh, and our listeners and our viewers too that are watching us live. The Chip Stella over at B Team Podcast said that there's a a great promotion right now. Marvel has a subscription service where you have access to all their comics online, everything. For nine ninety nine a month, but you get it for free the first month, and you can cancel that if you want at the end of that. Or any time. And what's the uh, what's the address? I forgot the link, but you can just Google that. Mar- Marvel Online, I'm sure it's, it's something like that. It'll come up. Marvel Comics Online should come up. But they're doing that promotion. I don't know how long, but I I don't know. I might I might bite I might bite and, and check it out. And I've been very curious to see where they've been taking because. Uh, from what I've heard from from real comic fans, like between DC and Marvel, DC has had lots of reboots and continuity issues. Whereas uh-huh. Marvel has finally, now that they're having such so many hit movies come out and Disney backing them up on all this stuff, you know they got a lot of a lot of power now to to make big moves. Uh, they've been a lot more consistent with their storylines, so you know it's interesting to see that. So. And it'll make predictions more interesting if we have more of those backstories. Definitely. So yeah, you ready for the dust off? We are. We are. What are we? Um, I really haven't. You mind if I go first? I don't have anything hardly. Yeah, go for it. Well, um, yeah, good, good one. That was a good talk. Um, <laughs> good talk. Good talk. I, I really haven't. I really haven't dusted off anything. Um, really, really new. I mean, I, I've been playing some league this week. Um, not very anything really heavy. Um, I did get a from one of my fans, one of my viewers, that just wanted me to play with them. I got uh, now two of the Total War games. Of course, I have Total War Shogun Two. You guys have uh, ever played with me on there? Want to play with me on there? We can do some some co op stuff, and we can even make a custom game to where we all just beat the hell out of each other. <laughs> um, and I got uh, Napoleon actually Total War. Um, I really didn't think. I thought I was going to be just. Oh, it's going to be boring. It's just the same thing. It's just this, this, and that. And but it, it just. I like it. I don't know why. It's I have no idea why. Because it's really boring. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but but I've been playing that lately, and uh, I've actually been getting back. I I got on uh, the Daisy for. I don't know. Probably about twenty minutes, and then I got frustrated because I died like three times and had to run. I'm good. <laughs> they are talking about coming out with some uh, more Daisy servers that actually um, there's no PvP in it. It's mm. all about the zombies and it's all about surviving, uh, which is basically it's, it's a survival server. Um, but there's no you can't like another player can't shoot another player. It's kind of weird. Um, I don't, and it might not go, but they're talking about putting a lot more zombies in there. Um, with what we talked about, if you remember what a, what a, a group of zombies is called, a herd. They're talking about putting more herds of zombies in there uh, into daisies, so there's actually more walking around, which will be pretty interesting. Um, but other than that, I really haven't been playing much. Um, my wife and I, we've been playing a little bit of Hearthstone together, and then uh, of course I've been playing War Thunder. So I mean, that's really, of course, Arma too. Um, but uh, that's really that's. <laughs> I said that really low. <laughs> my, any of my clans watching right now, they're going to be like, really? Really? You said all those games, and then you're like, oh, I play Arma 2 too. Um, but yeah, it, <laughs> that's a different, that's a whole different thing. But uh, that's really all I played this week just because I'm, you know, I'm busy. <laughs> what about you, Yogi? So yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat. I, 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 you know, I have my mainstays. I've been playing Marvel Puzzle Quest, Doctor Who Legacy, Hearthstone. Uh, a little soul forward stuff they you know pick up and play, mm-hmm. uh, but I'm definitely ha- hankering to play get back into League of Legends and uh, Dota 2 more like I used to, make it more of a consistent thing because uh, I don't want to get rusty and I also would like to to play with some of the listeners and get some rank play going and whatnot, uh, some more organized play going. But um, I played DayZ some more and I was just kind of looking around in the server to see what what's good, what's more my style. I made a a black character that 
modeled after Michonne from uh, Walking Dead. <laughs> Uh, I was sad that there's not that many options for the customization, you know, and I wish there was more. But, you know, I know, I know it's still an early release, but, uh, you know, it's kind of neat. It's, 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 you explore a system, you don't find anything at all. You're just kind of going through houses and looking around, trying to collect stuff. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, it's more like the tension of, like, wondering what's going to happen. And along that same vein, I, I finally got to really play around with Slender, the Arrival. And I felt that, well, you know... All these Slender games, they, they kind of get repetitive. But this one actually was really well done. And now that they give it a real chance, it's it's got a real interesting ambiance to it. And it's pretty spooky. The sound effects are great. Um, they did a really good job with it. And um, I didn't realize there was some extended content in there. Like They have a lot of stuff in there that you could do. And I think I even saw multiplayer in there, which I didn't know was even in there. So I might have to tinker around with that some more. And it's definitely going to be a, a late night game. I and mean, hopefully I'll get around to streaming that. I even tinkered around with some Doom 3 uh, BFG edition, just to throw it back a little bit. Very and nice. I, I think I'm going to play that all the way through. I never got to beat it the first time around when I played it on um, on the Xbox and, and the uh, PC. But now I, now I have the, the Steam version. I got the first on the original Xbox, but then I just never really finished it. I, don't know, I get distracted, you know. Shiny ball syndrome. But uh, yeah, definitely would like to get... I'm going to play... I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to commit to get... A lot more Hearthstone in, a lot more Soul Forge in, some League of Legends, some Dota 2, you know, and um, maybe get some some of the community involved in, in those games. And in fact, some of our fellow podcasters are jumping into Hearthstone, and they're waiting for some of them are waiting for the iPad version to show up or the iPhone version to show up. So once that happens, I think we're gonna be having some tournaments. You know, all the podcasters, all the listeners, podcasters for the podcaster. Um, you know, so listeners versus podcasters, and so on and so forth. We we'll go, we we'll go big, big pimping style. And for some reason, I'm lagging again. He's lagging bad, but we're as while well, he's lagging, um, we can just keep going here. Um, what other uh? Wow, is there been has, is there any games that you've been playing that you just uh, just haven't been playing anymore? That stopped playing altogether. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I mean, pretty much, there's a lot of games I would like to play a lot more, like Armada Online. I, I want like to play that a lot more, but I haven't had the chance to. I haven't been doing that much gaming. Period. Um, I want to, but it's like I keep getting. Mm -hmm. Stuff like right now, I'm working on different projects, you know, the gang stuff, and in fact, clients come in with uh, requests. So, but yeah, I'm gonna make concerted effort to play more games and get back into streaming like I used to. But, um, I'm trying to think what I haven't been playing that much that I was playing a lot of before. I mean, basically, League of Legends and, and Dota 2, like, those are two games I was playing the crap out of. Uh, same thing with Soul Forge, and I haven't been playing nearly as much. So I want to get back into those games, but again, that's the kind. Of, those are the kind of games. That, the good thing about it is, that no matter how far, how long you're far, you're away from it, you can get back into it. It's like you know, riding a bike. But I definitely, I'm definitely interested in playing more Hearthstone. I need to level up some more and then get some good cards, start building some custom decks because I still have a lot of the. My core decks are still basically just the beginner stuff. Hmm. <laughs> nice. But uh, yeah, well, just let me know um, too when we're actually when we can't play League of Legends or we don't have that much time, we can actually jump on and grab a couple, you know, a couple games of Hearthstone too. I'll beat you there too. It's fine, not a problem. <laughs> unless you just, you know, unless you just want me to let you win, like I, you know, do my wife. But um, I mean, we can we can work it out. Once I uh, get decent cards, I, I'll be a good opponent. But for now, like. I like the matchmaking a lot in that game. Like, if I compare it to, like, Scrolls and, and um, Soul Forge, mm -hmm. it's pretty, Hearthstone is really good about matching you with people that have around the same amount of cards and experience as you do. So that's good because I, I hate when you get pitted against someone that, you know, spent a lot more money and time in the game because they have, like, epic cards and they're running legendaries and you're like, pew, mm -hmm. pew, pew, I got nothing. Yeah, well, and some of that is if you're you know, level one or two with a deck or even level 10 with a deck, you really, it's, they're supposed to be doing it, which it doesn't work still. 
um, to where you're only going to be playing against those people that are that level. Yeah. So they can't have. I mean, they can have a different card, but they can, they don't have the extra cards like you would have if you were you know level fifteen against a level eight. Now level eight only has four extra cards, or wait, two, four, six, eight, ten. 10 extra cards where level 14 has all their cards that they can get. So yeah. it's kind of, you know, it's kind of sucks, but moving right along. Mm. Are we moving right along? Yes. Oh, wait. <laughs> I didn't know because uh, usually Yogi has a lot more to dust off. <laughs> He's just dusting forever. But yeah, my, my, yeah, my, kind of clean. yeah, my dust off for this week is that I'm going to be, I am promising myself and everybody listening that I'm going to do a lot more gaming in the coming weeks. Because it's like, I'm, I'm like a, I'm, I'm hankering right now. I'm like a crack fiend. I need to get my fix. Obi's addicted too. <laughs> I am addicted. Deals for cheap bastards. I'm one. I'm sorry. Yogi's one. He's probably not sorry. <laughs> but we're both cheap. And we both want to find, we both love to play video games. So if you are a cheap bastard and you love to play video games. Or play with yourself. Don't miss, <laughs> don't miss out on the Sega Humble Bundle. Um, I don't have the numbers exactly right here, but uh, it's $6 for how many games, Yogi? 19. 19 games. Now, if you guys remember, is this the Sega, you know, the, the black, big freaking black box is what we're talking about here? Well, it's like it's like uh, it's, it's spanning it? several generations. Like they got oh, okay. some Sega Genesis games. They got, I think, they got some Sega Master System games, and they got stuff that's come out on you know since then. You know, like just, uh, Total War games, which is more they're no more for like PC. So they got a right. lot of a lot of variety on there. You know, classic Sega and more modern day Sega. So there's there's something for everyone there. I'm really Definitely. excited about it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull the trigger, even though I have such a freaking. That's part of the issue. That's why I haven't dusted off that much because I look at my at my list, and it's not that I I don't have something good to play. It's that I have so many good things to play. And the problem with me is when I have too many decisions, my, I just give up. I said I'm not gonna make any choice. <laughs> and what I want to say to everybody here, okay? Now an average player, okay, has you know twenty twenty five games on his Steam account, or you know. Give or take. The the friends that I have probably have right around that many games where they, you know, different games that they played and bought cheap, you know, whatever. Now, Yogi's not the average player. I want to say this dude has over 100 games on his team. Have you looked at my list? Oh, man. Yes, I have. <laughs> okay. Uh, and he's got so many games. He's got games that he's bought. He hasn't played yet. <laughs> Because he, he, he scrolled down them, and you're like, okay, you got this game, this game, this game, zero hours, zero hours. Zero. You haven't even installed it yet. But sometimes, it. sometimes it doesn't clock my hours. I have to say that. Like Payday 2, I played some Payday 2, but it hasn't clocked any hours on that. Just want to say. Okay, okay. Ooh, calm down, homie. Calm down. Because you know what will happen with Steam if... If you're if Steam service is offline, I don't know if you noticed, but the service has been going offline a lot lately. They've been having some issues with the network. Mm -hmm. If they go offline, you can still access your games, but it won't it won't sync with the server and it won't clock your your gameplay. And sometimes it'll screw up your saves. So it, it will. Um, what is free on Steam? Or we're gonna go with a few little prices. Um, I'm gonna go through this just uh, fairly quickly here. Um, L.A. Lenore, if you guys have ever heard that, it's a uh, um, kind of a mobster game. Or I'm say L.A. Nori, Nori, N -O -I, -R -E. I, think, I think it's pronounced uh, Noir. Noir, whatever. It's, it's, a, a, it's a French. It's a French thing. You know how these French things. mobsters basically. <laughs> it is only sixty-seven percent off. It was twenty dollars. It's only six dollars and fifty-nine cents. Yeah, I said it wrong. Who cares? I see you laughing over there. Counter Strike. I'm not laughing at you. Fourteen ninety nine. But wait, wait, wait. Obi, Obi, Obi. Fifty percent off. A uh, couple. Uh, we have uh, Race oh, the Sun, Obi. which is uh, I have never ever even seen this game before. Obi. Um, I, I imagine it's uh, it has ice. 
I'm actually looking at it right now. Sorry. Um, it actually you have to build uh, build a certain things out of like ice and 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 what would the sun would melt basically. So you have to raise the sun from from where down here where you have to start. And then you have so much time till it raises to where it'll start melting all your shit. Rust. 1999. These are all the featured item games, guys. The Rockstar Game Weekend is what it's called. And this is March 13th through the 17th. So you do have three more days still. and ends on Sunday. Um, uh, the Seven Days to Die, the survival horde crafting game. So if you guys like zombies, you guys like trying to survive, this is something that you guys would probably like. $24.99. Goddess. Yes. I don't even know. Regenesis of the God game. 1999. I'm not even going to get into it. Just that's a really <laughs> neat that's a really neat game. Uh Space Hulk. Uh Yogi talks about this quite often. Uh and he's plays it I think quite often when he actually can. Uh, it's only $20, uh, which it was almost 30, so uh that's a decent little Hawken. It is free to play. It is if you guys like mechs and getting into a mech warrior Stop it, Yogi. You got like getting into a mech warrior and just and just beefing it up with freaking guns and cannons and rockets and all that other shit. Hawkins the way to go. It is free to play. Go check that out as well. War game. Red Dragon. I I was wondering was when this was gonna come, you know, to a, a decent price. You're worrying me there, Yo. Uh, I'm I'm engaging on the chat. Because you're like laughing and you know, everything else and then you know. And then I can't hear you because I accidentally turned my mic or my speakers down. Yeah. But anyway, Day Z is $29.99. You guys did miss the deal. It was $19.99 when I bought it. Or actually, when it got bought for me, which was cool. It's fine. Um, and uh, there's a couple more. Now, this is one of the bigger games that's out right now. And I see it in streaming all the time. It's one of the, sometimes it's the second channel on the whole list of channels uh, after League of Legends, of course. South Park, the Stick of Truth. Yeah. Uh, they all go through their little uh, quest lines, and it basically the Stick of Truth is basically a wand. They're trying to, you know, do little uh, things to help their town from a, uh, I don't even exactly know, a space alien invasion, it looks like. <laughs> I don't even know, man. So I haven't even said it. That is $60. It is brand new. You guys can check that out as well. Dark Souls 2, $49.99. Plague Incorporated in Evolved, fourteen ninety nine. Uh, can you affect the world? Basically, you're a virus, and you have to affect affect the world as much as possible. It's pretty. Uh, yeah. Uh, nom 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 galaxy. Don't exactly know what that is. Looks like a really terrible two D game. Nineteen ninety nine. Towerfall Ascension. I know Yogi's talked about this. I think before, or actually, was that uh, Matt that was talking about this? It is fifteen percent off this week, twelve net twelve seventy four, and last one. Oh, not not last one, but Starbound, another two D game that uh, I don't know nothing about. Fourteen ninety nine, and the last one, Planet Explorers, twenty four ninety nine. I imagine you go around planets and exploring. <laughs> I don't know. Some of the new free play, free to play games. Uh, Path of Exile, Sacrifice of the Veil is free to play. The Mighty Quest of Epic Loot. Now, I've seen this a couple places streaming. Have you, Yogi, seen this? Yes, I was in the closed beta just as it was about, you know, I finally got to play it, and then they sh shut it down on me, and then it came out, and now it's free to play. So I, I'm, that's another one I'm going to get into for sure. Definitely. Um, and like I said earlier, Hawken with the mechs. Um, and there's a game right here that I actually play. I don't know if Yogi plays it anymore, but it's War Thunder. That is free to play. You're basically 1942. World War II, in effect, you got U.S., Germany, Russia, Great Britain, and Japan. So you can be any of those and build up your planes to uh, go uh, down the opposing force in the air. Uh, and now, actually, it's coming out. I think it's in beta right now uh, where they have the ground division with the tanks now. Uh, so that should be interesting. And what they're trying to do is just basically get a whole concept of a whole world war. You got your air guys, guys that are in the planes. You got your guys that are down there in the tanks. And then even if I'm on a water map, you guys got your guys right there on a, you know, on destroyers or ships or, you know, landing boats or whatever. A couple more uh, free-to-play games before we move on. 
Uh, Planet Side 2 is free to play. Marvel Heroes is also, and Warframe is another um, free to play game, and Dogs of War Online. So if you guys like any of those games or want to try them out, just hit them up. Hit me up on Steam, um, and we'll we'll definitely play some together. That was pretty fun, yo. Actually, doing all that, I said it really fast, but it was pretty good. What was? Did you say Dogs of War? Yeah, I did. That can't, that can't be the game I'm thinking. No, you're thinking of God of War. No, no. See, I hate when games come out with names of other games that came out in the past and they had nothing to do with anything. Well, and I think I probably said like Dogs of War and it had an extra title to it. Um, I'm pretty will. I'm will. I'm pretty willing to bet. Well, that didn't even sound right. To tell you the truth. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll look at it right here again. All oh. games. Oh no, no, Yogi. We're gonna look at it again, just because. Yeah. Turn-based strategy game. It looks like a tactics game. This isn't like the game that I, I that of uh, that shares the same namesake, but it looks mm -hmm. pretty cool. Because there used to be this game called Siege, and then there was an expansion called Dogs of War, and it was like the it was like a, a game where you had to. Uh, protect your castle or attack the castle. Right. It's pretty epic. And it was like one of the first uh, games I remember playing online, like with a dial up modem. Old school, yo. <laughs> Just one more reminder the, the Steam Free Play the Games, uh, the Steam Free to Play weekends, they end on Sunday, right around midday, noon, one o'clock, uh, give or take, depends on when they want to shut it down, really. Uh, for those that are in the U.S., um, Yogi, how's the street holiday sale backlog going? I got a lot of gaming to do still. And then I'm going to get back into Mighty Quest. And then, oh, I don't know what some of the ones you just mentioned. It's a lot of stuff to play. Though I'm happy this weekend's free to play game does not appeal to me. Fortune Formula One Racer, I'll pass on that. Yeah. But 19 games from the Sega sale, oof. I, I can see you, yeah, Yogi's going to have those 19 games, so beware, you guys might get a, a Sega game for a, a prize. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping those suckers. Maybe I'll buy the bundle twice. That's a card that didn't hire well, actually, you. Actually, I already own a couple, a few of those games, so if they, if Steam, sometimes what they do is they give you the, the Steam key separately. So if they do, and I could do that, and it's just, I could gift the key... If someone. it's a bundle, they won't, because I bought a bundle and they didn't. It's all one. It's sent to your account. The whole bundle is sent to you, or the whole bundle is sent to a gift. Yeah, they changed it because now they made it so that it links into your account. Mm -hmm. But they used so to make can... it so that you could set. They gave you the key, and then you redeem it, and you could, or you could gift it if you want to. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, well, you killed right. that well, dream. I imagine if you bought the whole bundle as a gift, you could try to actually do it, and if it doesn't work, then you could actually just use it for yourself. So, well, yeah, I, th I think if you, you already, I think if you if you get a game, on you know for, for Steam and you already had own it and you try to add it again, it automatically mm -hmm. goes to gift li uh, inventory. I believe so. Yeah, because I, I actually I was looking at that one of my buddies and he goes, uh, I already have this game. I said, you're not getting it for yourself. You're getting it for me, because it already it was, it was already grayed out and it says you can only buy it for a friend. So yeah, that's how it goes. So yeah, I might have I might have a copy of uh, Typing of the Dead Overkill, and I know there's a few other games that I have in there, but yeah, that's a fun one, game. One last thing for the uh, with the deals, the midweek madness on Steam. You usually they have something during you know Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and um, they actually put us some more LDs, some more little little. little. Some more deals out through the week for through the week, so they can get through their weekend stuff. So, um, a couple of those are Strike Suit Zero and RP. Oh my bad, that's that's from last week. My bad. Forgot to remove that. Okay, disregard everything I just said, because well, there is Banner Saga. Yogi's messed up. Again. No, ba Banner Saga. Banner Saga is, is Midweek Madness. Okay, Banner Saga is Midweek Madness. Welcome. Yes. You just threw me off again. My bad. I forgot to remove that from the notes. That was last week's. Uh, but yeah, the Banner, Banner Saga is Midweek Madness, and uh, that one's worth a look if you like the tactics game. I see a lot, I'm seeing a lot of tactics game come out. I might check that one out too. But anyway. 
Carry on. Carry on. I'm done. You're done. It's your turn. My my turn. Well, what, what, are we are we wrapping things up? Oh man, we went longer yeah, than I so thought. We're it's almost one thirty. So, hey, like I said, we are gonna get back to. Uh, I really want to. I'm just waiting for the yes or okay, because um, I really don't run things around here. He does. So I gotta ask. I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna just say uh, you know two two more recommendations. And again, we always say it every week. Usually Armada Online. Check it out. Free alpha build, Armada hyphen online. You can Google it, dot uh, com. You know, Armada, uh, uh, Armada hyphen online dot com. Mm -hmm. vote, vote yes for the Steam green light. Um, and definitely support that. And check out Soul Forge. It's a good alternative to Magic the Gathering and Hearthstone. And it's got really unique uh, game mechanics. And what's cool about it is that. Uh, the creator of uh, Magic the Gathering, Richard Garfield, has been like an advisor on this project, so it's got it's 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 got a nice professional feel to it. Really good balancing, really good vision driving it. Uh, so Soul Forge and, and Armada Online, check them out. And if you play, tweet us, you know, so we could just do a little random gaming thing, maybe stream it, you know, jam on it. But I've been plugging the crap out of Soul Forge, especially today. I feel guilty for not playing it as much as I used to. I mean, it used to be the game I used to stream all the time. Definitely. Okay. Go ahead, Obi. <laughs> so what we like to do at the end of the show, we do like to make sure that we, uh, we cross-promote a little bit of uh, some of our friends um, at different channels that just, that just show us love as well. Um, and we just... You know, this is uh, when we do this show like this. We're 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 not just it's not just horseplay. We're of course it is just horseplay with uh, Obi and, and Yogi here, but it's I mean it's also you know all the all the cast member or all the hosts of you know B Team uh, podcast. We have Knuckleball Radio, and I'm going to go through the list here in a second. But we just want to make sure that we we give shout outs and we give you know just the mutual support that they show us. So we do want to let you guys know that horseplay is on Stitcher iTunes radio or tune in radio, sorry. Blackberry. <laughs> that was a mistake. Yeah. I cleaned it Dude, this you're time. You're killing me. All right. Horse play is on Stitcher, tune in radio, Blackberry, and iTunes. Yes, I did say iTunes. We are now on iTunes. Check us out. Leave us some reviews. Leave us some reviews and some uh, favorites. I subscribe on the talk show. Talk shoe and Stitcher. Uh, you guys can let us know what you guys are thinking. And <laughs> iTunes. <laughs> You're killing me. I'm gonna one day I'm or, gonna I, I, one day I'm gonna just start typing random stuff while you're reading it yeah, off. I'm gonna shoot you through the like my so. dog ate my balls with some my barbecue list, sauce. To see if I say it. Yeah. More listeners mean more uh, that we can run bigger promotions. I eat giveaways, community play dates, and uh, along with other uh, really cool things that we're uh, trying to accomplish with uh, what we're doing here. So, also give us tons of thumbs up on Stitcher so we can show up more in search results as people are just searching. You know, they search horseplay. I think there's only one that comes up right now. Yeah, but they might Maybe search by two. they might search by category or exactly. topic. So. so but any questions or comments that you guys do have that you've kind of thought about through the show, you guys can leave us a voicemail. Please leave us voicemails because we will play them on the show. The number is right above my head right here. If you guys are not watching live and listening on the podcast, that number is 206-415-4987. You guys call us up, leave us a voicemail, and uh, we're de definitely going to play them live. Because uh, if he's going to play me talking like a little girl, I'm definitely going to play something else. Or something about they left it in the pool. I don't. We still don't know what he put <laughs> in the pool. All the, music, all the music on here is provided by Technoax on YouTube. That is Techno with a K, Ax, A-X-E. And um, he's just got really good music. You guys can monetize and do anything that you want, even make money with that music. And he does not care. Highlighted videos and audio casts, especially the horseplay uncut version, is available on Obi One X Two right here uh, on Twitch and as well on Yogi Zilla's channel. 
and both on YouTube and Twitch. Mine's not on YouTube yet. I'm still having some issues with that. But make sure you guys check out it if you guys do want to see the full uncut version, even the, the, the live uh, video. Uh, you guys can check that out on those channels. We do also want you guys to check out some of our friends at Gaming History 101, Sega Nerds, The Gaming of the Shrew, R9 Casts, Knuckleballer Radio, Zombie Cast, and B Team Productions, all on allgames.com network and or Stitcher. So you guys can check all those guys out too. They're a great group of guys. And nine times out of ten, we got at least one of those guys from those different podcasts on Horseplay. So you guys can, you know, get with them. And of course, Mr. Matto McFly. Sorry, I, couldn't I was going to say Matto again, but I couldn't do it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there are also tons of great blogs that we are plugging, uh, and and just because we you know love to do it, that we're actually reblogging right there on Gang, our network blog at geekyantics.wordpress.com. So check that out as well, uh, including ZombieCast. Uh, this is something that we're actually very very happy about uh, um, the Zombie Blog and Castorius. How do you say that? Castorius. Cast, we'll say it. I, I can't. Casterbris. There, Casterbris. I couldn't hear you for a second. So we've seen huge response uh, from the zombie and the gaming clan uh, related content. So expect more to that. It will be coming back because I'm sorry. The last two episodes where we were talking about zombies and whatnot, I had the most fun I've ever had in my life on this show. Uh, well, tonight was pretty cool because our chat was freaking trolling at the hell out of us just, uh, <laughs> in the early in the early going. But we do want to make sure that you guys uh, check us out. And uh, upcoming, who do we got coming up here in the future there, Yogi? It's going to be a surprise. Possible guess. We're, yeah, we're cooking up some stuff. We're cooking up some stuff. There's going to be a lot of fellow podcasters, but we're going to try to get... Uh, I've been talking. I've been in talks with some people in, in more involved in the gaming industry uh, on different levels, uh, whether it's you know not just media, but also people that do development. Uh, design, uh, localization, you know, community management, stuff like that. For people, so you know, people from give them any hints. Not any hints, but people from no actual hints. gaming companies, you know, and publishers. So that's that's something in the future, not the near future, you know, because they have busy schedules. But we're gonna work, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna build that up. Hey, hey uh, yeah, Carth Carth goes. I missed this week for fuck's sake. <laughs> It's all right, Karth. Better late than than ever. We we, Dude, we love you for making out. it. You know what? Karth should leave us a voicemail as his to, as an an atonement. Look at that. Even not Panda came in here last minute. You're late. I know. We're almost ready to end. They're like, "Hey guys, we're here." It started two hour two and a half hours ago. <laughs> yeah, we gave you ample time to catch up with us. But yes, hey, you guys that didn't catch the show, be, make sure that you guys go hit us up. I do it all the time. I did it last week when I was just here and, you know, see how the show went. Uh, when I was doing my little workout, I just put my headphones on, turn my phone on. Um, if you guys got Android, go to the Play Store, get Stitcher, and you can listen right to it on your phone. That sounds great. Um, and I, I heard everything that I wanted to hear. So little things that we're both working on to get better so we can get you guys good shows. Yes, and hopefully next week we'll be actually taking in more call-ins, like just random call-ins. And uh, get everybody more involved. As if we don't have a guest. If we have a guest, it's gonna be hard to get call take uh, live call-ins, random call-ins. But uh, you you know, either way, you get Twitter, you got voicemail, you know, email. Lots of different ways to connect with us. Right. Well, and remember, guys, like you said, call-ins. We do have a Skype that we're actually going to. It's a horseplay Skype that we're actually going to invite. Uh, some people, even if you're just uh, a person somebody that watches us uh, live here on the show, or even somebody that just listens that can get in, that can get on Skype. We really would love to have you guys. With that being said, Logi, is there anything else that you would love to uh, send some parting words to our lovely listeners? Yeah, just again, again like uh, we're really stoked about all the support we've gotten, all the love we're getting, especially from the all games community. I know a lot of people are rallying to get us on there as an official show, you know. But regardless of what networks we're on, you know, we're, we're always willing to collaborate with people from other networks, from other shows, other sites, you know. Whatever you're doing, 
you know, there's always a, a way we can work together, put a spin on what you do. I mean, I I, I talked to a buddy of mine, uh, and, I, and we work on projects together, and, and he's a musician, and he's interested in doing some podcasting. And I'm like, hey, you know, you can come on the show and, and, and you know, go, you know, goof off with us. So and everybody's welcome to, you know, just definitely for some horseplay, goof around with us. Definitely, as long as you're definitely. as long as you're a geek. Got to be a requirement. Geek. <laughs> With that being said, guys, this is Obi-Wan X2, and we're out along with Yogi Zilla. Remember, you guys can hit us up uh, throughout the week uh, on uh, at Obi-Wan X2 on Twitter and at Yogi Zilla on Twitter as well. Make sure you guys check out the shows. If you guys missed anything else, it's up on Stitcher, iTunes, TalkShoe, Tune In Radio, TalkShoe, a couple of blogs. But we will see you guys. Next week, horseplay out. Peace. Whoa. <sighs> Don't do that shit no more. And to all the viewers and listeners right here, thank you for watching Horseplay. We will see you next week. Peace. We're out. All right, cutting it off. Wow, two hours and 41 minutes. Woo. There we go. That was crazy, man.